All right, so we're rolling. What's up, Jack? What up, guys? What's Thank up, you man? for having me. How you doing, bro? Good. How about uh, a nice introduction for Jack? Give him an intro for us. This is you Jack this. Tenney from the Jig Squad. Mm-hmm. World-renowned. Brother of Tifu, I guess. Maybe, maybe more. <laughs> he's, no longer, yeah, <laughs> he's no longer. He's oh, no longer. Son Jack. of Mike Concho. You know, I yeah, son of Mike Concho. The other day, as Tifu's little brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike Concho's his dad too. We have Mike Concho's son and yeah, Tifu's brother. <laughs> Arch nemesis of Ben Mallow. <laughs> it was yep, a good battle. That's me, guys. I'm here. So it's pretty cool that we get to have you on the podcast because you know not many people get to have your time other than your own channel, which is pretty cool. You're Thank pretty you, bu- and we get the special. local. You pretty we get busy. The local legend on the podcast. Yeah, yes. He had to drive all the way from Clearwater to Seminole. <laughs> we very appreciate it. Five minute drive. Right. I don't what? even have a ride home. <laughs> what have you been doing? With, what, what have you been doing with all your time? Uh, just lately, trying to come up with as much content as I can, but it's kind of depressing to make content when your backyard is like a toxic wasteland. Yeah, I've been seeing all those videos that you've been making, and, and the beach s- smells like a sewer right now. It's bad. I witnessed the worst smell I've ever smelled in my entire life the other day. Actually, in this video, a couple minutes in, but yeah, it's disgusting. But I, yeah. <clears throat> I drove down Reddington today. It was terrible. Really? Yeah. But yeah, then when I got to St. Pete Beach, it wasn't so it's bad. bad. You can feel it in your nose, your, your eyes, throat. your throat, your lungs. It's horrible. And you've lived on the beach your entire life. Forever. You've lived on Indian Rocks Beach. It's been your backyard since you were born. Yep. I bet, Have you ever seen it this bad? Not even close. Not close. Not even close. You want me to be Ben for a minute? Yeah, be Ben. Go ahead. This is a natural occurring cycle. It has nothing to do with Rick's God of the government. So why is it so bad this year, you think? <laughs> uh, well, it's just because, I mean, as time goes on, the runoff from the cattle ranchers and all the pesticides and fertilizers that you use on all the crops that seeps its way into Lake Okeechobee that then gets drained into the rivers that leads to the ocean. Um Red tide is technically just a type of algae, and when it gets mixed with another toxic type of algae that comes out of Lake Okeechobee, it just gets disgusting. And uh, another thing that people don't realize is red tide has not naturally occurred on its own since 1920. And it used to only happen when there was um, giant fish spawns, when there would be tons and tons of fish spawning. And uh, since we're overfishing now, we actually haven't had enough fish Oh, oh, it's a truck. It's a truck. <laughs> um, there hasn't been a uh, fish spawn. Like, it's been over 100 years since there was uh, enough fish to naturally cause a red tide. Now it's just toxic algae coming from all these farms. And uh, so how come, it, how come it's so much worse this year than, than other years? It's just a combination. It's just like the perfect storm, pretty much. Yeah. Are they polluting more <laughs> nowadays, or yeah, it's just I mean uh, they're it's just building like, up. Bi- everybody's saying big sugar. It's it's a combination of a lot of different corporations, but um, you know there there's record crops every single year. There was a whole lot of rain this year too, yeah. and that led to all the crops getting too flooded. You know, like all these crops that they're growing are farmed on swamplands that are constantly drained. They need to be drained, or else it'll just flood all their crops. Right. So where do they drain the water? Straight into Lake Okeechobee, creates these toxic algae blooms, makes its way to the ocean, and then we have like a supercharged red tide toxic algae bloom. Like, look at that water. That is not the that's color that the ocean's disgusting. supposed to be. Where is and that? that is also not, the, that's John's Pass. Okay. That is the inside of John's Pass. Nice drone shot, though. Yeah. Shout out to... Uh, All those dead fish there. Shout out to the other look Danny, Danny Scannell. Wow. Dude. So are they allowed to dump all this waste in there, or...? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are. So, so it's, it's funny because, I mean, obviously, we both spend a lot of time in the ocean surfing and whatnot, and we're both aware Red Tide's been around for hundreds of hundreds years. Hundreds of years. Hundreds yeah. of years, right? Yeah. And I've never really known what the cause was. I mean, I've heard stuff here and there, but I've never heard anything. I've never seen as much conversation about it until this year like i've never right. heard people talking about it. i never That's really knew it, why it actually happened it's because it's well, worse this year than you know red year. tide technically is just a, an, a type of algae so right saying this red tide technically it it is correct to say that it's red tide but everybody thinks of red tide as this naturally occurring phenomenon and uh this is this is not natural this is not something that just happens by nature you know this is 
a direct result of all the toxic runoff being like leading to the ocean. Yeah. And another thing is it's hitting Panama City Beach in North Florida. Wow. That is a that is a wide spread. Yeah, know? I was actually just there last week and it was really, really bad there. There was dead fish on the beach. Do you think that they're gonna have to restock the Gulf? What do you mean? Like with fish. How would they do that? Like, I don't know, like buy fish eggs, I guess, from somewhere what? else. <laughs> like, look, all these fish are dying. Like, is there gonna, like, what do you have to do to get, you know, more of them? Uh, stop sending all this toxic water into the Gulf. So how long do you think this lasts like this? I have no idea because this is a record setting red tide that's been going on. This is, this red tide has been going on for nine months, which is a record. And we've also broken every single yearly record of dead manatees sea turtles and dolphins in one month so more dead wildlife in one month than any previous year wow so this is worse here than ever before by far so what what have you been doing personally to make a difference or like on your channel you've been making a lot of videos about it like what what's your goal what have you been trying to do unfortunately i don't know what to do like i i have no idea how to solve this problem um i know that there are a few solutions one of them is like a 1.5 billion dollar project to buy something like 150,000 acres and use that land specifically to clean and filter the water. But really, I'm just trying to make as many people aware of this right. issue as possible so that maybe something can be done. Because, you know, when when people get outraged, that's obviously, you know, the the Senate and the state and the government takes notice. You're just trying to shine light. That, exactly. That's what Jack, Jack's got the platform. That's what he's been saying in his other video, too. He's got the platform to make these issues heard by big numbers of people. You know, I'm just like the petition. If the, if a petition gets 100,000 signatures, uh, the White House has to release a statement on it. And pretty You're much close, every right? time. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, we got 30, less than 30,000 more to go. Uh, but the, that, I mean, that's good for the amount of time. It's been yeah, what's fucked yeah. up is... I did a poll on my Instagram. I've gotten so many people telling me that they're having trouble signing the petition, that they're getting an error, that their signature is not counting, or that it just straight yeah. up will not let them submit well, I bet uh, you that their information. Was that was the worst thing I've ever smelled in my entire life by far. <laughs> Can you and describe it? <laughs> I, no, I can't. I actually can't. Like, I, I did not think anything. Like, it smelled so bad that I literally could not breathe. It was like, yeah, it's bad. It was so strong that I couldn't take a breath because it just instantly made me gag out my air to the point that I was like gasping and had to I can't run imagine. away from the dumpsters far enough away to where I could like take a breath of air. I mean, look at that. That's is this is this also Treasure Island? Treasure Island. The yeah. entire bay, just as far as you can see. I want I saw a Treasure Island picture, an inlet just straight fish. Stacked, yeah. This is when the tide was going out, so they're like separating, but like look at that pot of dead fish. In the I mean, there has it's to be, s- they have to be trying to do something to fix it. There's no way that no government officials or like some big wigs aren't actively trying to do, s- I mean, this is crazy. I mean, when you're funded by corporations that solely only care about money, I mean, <laughs> this has been going on for 80 years, 100 years or something like that. Yeah. And uh, there's no sign of it slowing down. You know, they're, they're still allowing these farmlands to uh, pump the phosphate fertilizer all over the plants. And then when it rains, the water drains into the canals. The canals drain into Lake Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee drains to the river that leads to the ocean. And do you think it has anything to do with, like, you know, fertilizer? And like, you know, oh, yeah. Huge part of it's fertilizer. But like individual, like on, let's say, Treasure Island, you have a yard, you fertilize it, rains, the runoff goes in the ocean. I think that that would be a very, very small percentage of the overall... But it's the same thing. Ba- just on a smaller scale. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. But I think, that's what the, I think that's what a lot of the people want, that that want the people to believe, the that, it's, people. that it's not big business, it, it's the individual's, you know, fertilizer. That's oh, yeah, yeah those people who think that are dumb and are misinformed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm it's saying. It's definitely that's, the big people. That's fake news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You heard it here. Yeah, right? that's another thing is uh, the news will not report on... Well, they, they'll say, you know, is man making this red tide worse with fertilizer and this and that, but they will never name a specific company of course or a not. specific reason why. So let's name them. Who are what they? What company is it? <laughs> uh, it's we Cattle can name Ranchers them. north of Lake Okeechobee. Yeah. It's the um, put them on Big Sugar south of Lake Okeechobee, which they've been draining their runoff into the lake for years and years and years. And like all the manure that's in all the cattle ranches that gets drained into the lake too, you know, that contributes to it as well and another thing i hear is uh there's weeds that are growing in lake okeechobee 
And I guess they're spraying all sorts of like crazy pesticides and yeah. poison on the weeds to kill the weeds, yeah. which contributes to the algae bloom too. I have absolutely no idea. Like apparently, if you look back at uh, pictures or videos of Lake Okeechobee 20 years ago versus today, it, it's like a completely different place. There's all these weeds and all this grass all over Lake Okeechobee. And they're slowly like trying to kill the weeds because we don't want weeds, and uh, it it doesn't make any sense. You can probably pull up a video of them spraying all the pesticides and all the poison. I wonder onto the weeds. what I know they do that right out there in Lake Seminole too. Even they spray. Yeah, the you know what, Jack? You know what you might have to do, Jack? Like you had that other video where, like, you remember when you made the beach? You made your private beach, and you got such an outcry from the public and the news that it made major networks. Like mm-hmm. you, you might have to come up with some crazy idea to do with the red tide to get them to cover it have you gone down there to like Okeechobee to like where those farms are and where they spray all that shit and like, try, try to talk to anybody or i have not no um we should i would you, like to you should go in a I dead fish outfit with <laughs> i wanted to send squad send style. boxes of dead fish and bottles of lake Okeechobee water to all the uh senate offices and yeah. to, like rick scott's office and the governor's office Probably a bad idea. I would get in a lot of trouble. That's why I haven't done it. But I mean, right. like if they can kill like the entire state, why can't I do that? Like, let's go dump it a hundred gallons of Lake Okeechobee water into Rick Scott's swimming pool. You know what would be interesting though, if you took a water sample this week and then take one like, you know, when it when it clears up and just to show how bad it was and, and send it to some type of laboratory to have them show you what the what the deal is. I mean, this well, is our water. We swim in it. They have a scale for red tide. I. You know, I'm not the most educated person on the topic. I'm just trying yeah. to make people aware of this because there's, like, my backyard is, like, a toxic waste. <laughs> Look at this. Manatees dying all over the place. Um, but they they measure red tide by, like, how many uh, particles of the algae are in a, per liter of water. And I think the scale maxes out at 1 million because it's never supposed to go higher than a million. That's just, like, completely unheard of. But this year they were measuring, like, 10 million particles of the algae bloom per liter of water, which is 10 times higher than the scale caps out at. God damn. Which you, is just wow. Do you think that this Holy could possibly fuck. be the work of Mike Concha? <laughs> is he to blame? I wish, because if he was to blame, then I could fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so what... Exactly, is Rick Scott have to do it? What does Rick Scott have to do with this? He, um, I forgot what year it was. I think I have a picture of it. Um, I guess the year is kind of irrelevant, but he cut seven hundred million dollars budget from uh, the Water Preservation Act. He just took seven hundred million dollars away from trying to keep the water clean. You know? Can you look that up? I might have a picture on my phone. I saw some videos of the waterways with the different colored uh, water, you know, feeding into it. Mm-hmm. And I saw some comments on the video, and they said that that's naturally occurring, like where where lakes and rivers go into, like, um, you know, the ocean and stuff like that. They say it always looks like that. Is Holy fuck, you're right. <sighs> Here we go. Uh, in 2012, Richard Scott cut $700 million from Florida Water Management District. Now the Gulf Coast is suffering... What may be the worst red tide bloom in history, empty beaches and restaurant, and Trump loves this guy. Do you? And I have another tweet from Trump. Rick Scott of Florida is doing a fantastic job as governor. Jobs are pouring into the state, and its economic health is better than ever before. He is strong on crime, borders, and loves our military and vets. Vote for Rick Scott on Tuesday. This is our president. As our state is literally uninhabitable, like... You know, I've lived at the beach my entire life. Yeah. I can, you know, gauge a popular beach day. Like, during the week, you know, there's, there's still going to be dozens of people on the beach. Last Sunday, there was two people on the beach, as far as I could see. Yeah, Clearwater Beach Sunday. is a ghost land right now. There's yeah. parking. Well, he's on Indian Rocks Beach. Yeah, but Clearwater Beach, I, I saw pictures from Clearwater Beach. All the businesses, like, the empty. restaurants are empty. And the thing is, like, I have a lot of friends who own local businesses, and I have a lot of friends who run fishing charters, and... Like, I don't want to hurt their businesses at all, but pretending like the, this isn't happening just right. so that tourists keep coming this year. Like, if this continues for 10 years, like, I will not be able to live where I live. But I, I mean, think, I might be able to, but I won't want to, you know? Like, right. I, I think this was a wake-up call, though. It's like almost like they, they push, see, how far can we go? How much, you know, toxic waste can we pump into the... And then, I mean, is anybody doing anything? 
I have no idea. I don't. I have no. I have not heard. But when you have Nobody's a problem this, about this widespread and this much, well, he's got thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. How many? How many petitions have you got signed? Right, but 70, is anybody over like 70, signatures. over seventy thousand signatures? Mm-hmm. Is anybody in position talking about it? No, nobody. You well, think he, with this much outrage, if they had right, the any news, type yeah. of solution or were making any sort of progress to stop this from happening, they would release a statement. But I've seen nothing. But nothing. also, I think part of the problem is like this problem is so large and so widespread that there isn't a easily doable solution that's like, oh, we can do it tomorrow. This is a major... Just cut off What, what the fuck sugar, are you going to do? You're cut off right, cattle ranchers. Nobody said anything Do not let them it. use fertilizer, and that's a huge step in the right direction. Just completely ban fertilizer but can I, surrounding can I, Lake Okeechobee. Can I, can I play devil's advocate for a second? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Please don't reflect my actual views. I'm playing devil's advocate. <laughs> of course. No. Okay, right. reflect Look, nine Sorry, months. Man. There you go. Longest well, red tide in history. I mean, you can't, when you affect business like that, and I'm taking Ben's side of this, you know, business is business, so we're out here to make money. We're not necessarily mm. out here to save the environment. I'm taking devil's That's advocate. That's the problem, too. The yeah. big business, you can't just say you can't have fertilizer anymore. That's going to affect millions of dollars of Florida tax, tax Right, but there's got to be a better way business. to do it. Yes, there but does. But the thing is, killed, like, killed I, all the animals. I totally get that. But what happens when Florida is uninhabitable? Like, right, then what? Well, what that's, the, that's the whole point of government regulation. That's why when people, re- typically Republicans want less government regulation and Democrats want more. Well, when you deregulate things, stuff like this happens. Right. So, you know, there's got to be a center area somewhere where, the, where everybody can agree. And we're kind of at a good spot right now because we're ha- going to have a change of leadership here very shortly. Yeah, but and you're right, you know that that turtle. would take millions and millions of dollars away from Florida's taxes, blah blah blah. But Florida is completely reliant on tourism, way more so than the sugar crops, way more so than the cattle ranches. So it's like you know they're pretty much shooting themselves in the foot at this point. But also laws move usually legal system moves fairly slowly. So if they want to you know bring about legislation to ban or limit fertilizers, it's going to take a long time. They can't do it overnight. It takes it's forever, just, right? Everything takes forever. Well, the that, biggest fuck up. I mean, the <coughs> Florida got to start somewhere though. Yeah, you got to start. Water in Florida start, naturally flows south, rolling. right? Like it, right. it naturally flows south because that's just like the incline of the state of Florida. The right. farther north you go, the higher you are above uh, right. sea level, and um, for thousands of years the River of Grass, which if you want to pull up a picture that you can look up uh, Flora's historic water flow. And um, you can see that, like, it, have you ever seen a map of Florida from what they thought it looked like before they were actually able to fly over it or measure it properly, like, to the T? Like, yeah, it looked, like, super fat, right? Well, it looked wide. super fat, and it's, like, chunked up into islands like it looked like they ben. painted it, it as like if ben. it was not a solid <laughs> landmass whatsoever like there's rivers going through the whole thing yeah I, I, can, I can pull up a picture for you <clears throat> by the way we probably should have we're gonna have the republican view at 7 30 right Danny? yeah when ben gets here <laughs> yeah we'll have we'll have the, <laughs> we have, the we democrat have the whole side the republicans side. are on their way i don't know yeah, but, but here's ben, the thing ben, ben doesn't know he anything don't really about like this. that type of shit either though he'll probably roast those companies as well yeah well not necessarily ben's friends are you know typically republicans because they're business people but he so. don't want to see those dead fish floating this in is his what backyard people thought i know that florida no. looked like that's crazy so obviously, wow. a lot of Florida. When was this? Uh, it probably has a date on there. It was like seven. I was at Ben's 18, uh, in the eighteen hundreds. I was at Ben's Maybe beach house two days ago, and I called him on the phone because it smelled horrible. And I called Ben and See, I said, "Look, there you go. Natural flow of water. That's how it's been forever. But we completely cut right, that this off. Is, this is the past. It says they haven't. Yeah, that's the past. One. That's the past. That's how it, you know. That's so how if, the water if, flow if was. That was the original. They have if a that past, was the or- present, and a future on here. If that was the original flow, how come? Um, the south part of Florida, like Miami area, didn't get terrible red tide. Oh, because they didn't have the... Mountains. They had the Gulf Stream. They're I see. over on the other side, too. See, I was thinking if... Right? Well, also, the, the river of grass, if there was any toxins oh, in the water of Lake Okeechobee, it filtered it out. I yeah. see. All the weeds and all the grass in south Florida would filter the water and clean it before it ever got to the ocean. Now we completely cut that out of the equation, and we just send it straight east and west, straight to the ocean. Well, you know what would be cool, too? Like, if you guys want to leave in the comments... If you have a, a creative solution to this problem that maybe somebody, you know, businesses yeah, we'll or, or government might want to look into, put it in the comments below. Maybe we'll find something that they didn't think about already. But, like, how the fuck are you going to stop? I mean, the only way to get, to get the, like, you can't just fucking say big sugar, shut the fuck down. Exactly. Now. That's, That's never what I'm no, Definitely not. You have to just start raising hell. 
now. You got to bring the awareness keep, keep to what I'm trying to do. Right. And Four get million people views to get in the, the word last out there. two months. So where can they uh, sign the petition and stuff? Uh, it's in the description of pretty much every one of my YouTube videos. It's in the prescri- description of my Instagram. We can put it in the description Savage. of this video. Yeah, yeah. description of this yeah, video. We'll yeah, this video. Video. Top, top line. Um, but the thing is, uh, the petition cuts off the 22nd, so we only have two days. All right, left. so sign now. Yeah, it's a 30 day thing. Jax, how does uh, President fuck, Trump so get a Jones, hold of you? You got to edit and put this video out right tonight. Here. I've tweeted him. I've tried to message him. Um, Who? He, if I he said wants if President to Trump me, would like to talk to Jack. It shouldn't be hard. It should not be hard. He's so active on Twitter. Yeah. Just tweet me, dude. There yeah. you go. Message uh, me. He DM pro- me. He probably subscribes to Tifu, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely. Of course. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to Tifu, what are you doing? <laughs> wow. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately... Um, uh, and I say unfortunately, because this would be very unfortunate, but it would also, in a way, be a solution. If we had a hurricane big enough to flood Lake Okeechobee so much that it broke the Hoover Dive, which is the dam that they built, to stop water from flooding South Florida, um, that would almost solve our problem because <laughs> the water wouldn't be able to go straight east or west. The <laughs> problem is there are towns that would be completely underwater. Let's if, destroy if, the towns. <laughs> but that's the thing is, there's you should they should have never built towns there in the first place. Like right. it is a swamp lake. Right. Well, that's the thing it about constantly Everglades. needs to be drained. And um, you know, the Lake Okeechobee hurricane. It was the second most deadly national disaster in U.S. history. Over two thousand people died. Almost two thousand. What hurricane people. was it? It was. They call it the Lake Okeechobee hurricane. It was like in nineteen twenty, I believe. Okay. And um, they built the dams. Look at that dead whale shark. That's crazy. It's crazy to see some of the bigger animals dying too. Like yeah, I knew about just the to wash up on two shore whales like that. Washed up a mile north of my house. Yeah, that's and two crazy. dead sharks a mile south of my house. That's pretty crazy. So if, if a person goes in that water, will they die too? Or uh, people have died. That's several crazy. people. Have I died. saw people swimming in the ocean. Like, that's yeah, just last week. In the ocean, Bad but idea. Um, a guy down south. This is a story I heard I confirmed to be true by a friend of mine that would never lie about something like this. Um, there was a guy cleaning for a week straight, cleaning all the dead fish, trying to you know bring his home back to what we want it to be, which is a beautiful paradise with like flourishing ecosystems. And he uh, he got sick, went to the hospital, died within 24 hours of respiratory failure. Did you hear about Just the guy recently? that stepped on this the? This was uh, about a month ago. Damn. What? I heard yesterday some guy was cleaning up the beach God and he stepped damn. on a uh, oyster. No, it was a catfish. Bars yeah. or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he ended up, he's he's in bad bad shape and all. So you shouldn't go out and try to clean this shit up then. Leave well, it to the, the thing leave is, it we to have to. Um, I would say if you're gonna clean it up, just wear a respirator. Yeah. And shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I have friends who are cleaning it up right now too, and like they're braver than I. You know, I I've had pneumonia in the past, so uh, my respiratory system is already weaker than the average person. So unfortunately, I can't go and do that because I would almost. Guaranteed to end up in the hospital, but I mean, I think fish we have to, to be cleaned up. Unfortunately, well, to, I think we need to go straight to the fucking source, Jack. I think me and you need to fly down to the Lake Okeechobee and, and fuck up some farmlands, fuck them up. Just go start burning crops. But what I was thinking <laughs> about with the Clearwater Beach, like they probably all, I mean, they don't have anything to do with Lake Okeechobee. I mean, they could complain or write letters or, or, you know, influence legislation, but they don't have anything directly. So all they can do is damage control at this point. Which I guess they are doing, you know, by spending money yeah, to clean it up. they worried about Clearwater, though, nowhere else. <laughs> well, we're fucked, though. Like, this is the, the beginning the only... of the end. Like, this is how the planet dies. Like, slowly, one ecosystem yeah, dies. Like two, you know, then the whole state of Florida, literally statewide, more coastline than not has dead fish washing up right now. Right. And it's like, in 10 years, like, we're fucked. Yeah. If this keeps going on for 10 more years, like, you, you're not going to be able to live here anymore. No. That's why Elon wants to go to Mars. Yeah. yeah. Well, after I mean, something this catastrophic Honestly, happened. like, I have a solution to solve all global problems. Just Elon Musk can be world leader. If something goes wrong, we ask him what to do. He will probably give us a way better solution yeah. than 99% of people. Fuck it. I'd vote for him. I would. I think, I think a lot of people would vote. I think he would win if he ran for president. I don't well, think he'll run Did you see the, uh, the, guy, the CEO of Starbucks is thinking about running? For president, I thought the Who CEO of just got just got like fired or something. No, he stepped down because they're thinking he's going to run for president. Oh, right. Starbucks? Really? Yeah, Starbucks. I'm and not voting a, for that guy. Well, Howard, a, what's his name? Howard Schultz. Yeah, I think that's his name. Starbucks look, look too expensive. Up. If it was Dunkin' Donuts, I'd <laughs> give him the <laughs> Starbucks vote. is too expensive. Uh, Starbucks tax, bro. I don't fuck with bro. Dunkin' Donuts. Iced coffee. 
But look, there you go. There's the they just showed shout the measurement. <laughs> a million uh, shout units out with the extra sugar whatever. at the bottom. Shout, shout out my boy Schultz. Uh, anyway, <laughs> also if Elon Musk wants to come on the podcast. Yeah, I'd love to oh, talk yeah, to sure that guy, man. Up. I'd love to pick his We got brain. him lined up for next week. We got an EV charger here, Elon. You can bring your Tesla. We'll charge you. And up. we got blunts for Elon, too. Oh, God. <laughs> He's talking <laughs> in hell, though. <laughs> Anything else you want to say, Jack, about the topic or about your personal life? Um, if we don't do something on? soon, I mean, this is like, like I said, it's going to be the beginning of the end of planet Earth. You know, one ecosystem dies. The, if the ocean dies, we die, you know. The ocean covers most of the planet, and if we keep this up, it's not going to be good. So sign the petition. What else can we do? Yeah, I don't know. Sign Fox, the petition. Let me, let Everybody know. better sign the petition. I'm just thing. trying to make people aware because I don't know what Share we Share the do. video. That's part of the problem, though. Think Juke about, squad, think about the power of somebody like, like you say, Big Juke Sugar. News. Mm-hmm. Like, think about how much money they have mm-hmm. and influence. When you have money, you have influence. Oh, yeah. Boycott Big Sugar. Do not buy any sugar from Florida. But how are you supposed to do that? You don't know when you buy, like, I know if you buy raw sugar. You got to just do your research. Yeah, but if you buy raw sugar. But, like, let's say I buy a Coke. I don't know where the sugar comes from. Don't buy Coke. Coke's horrible for you. (laughs) It's bad. You got to buy sugar sugar. eventually. Everything has sugar in it. You don't have to. If it can clean the rust off of a bumper, you probably shouldn't drink it. (laughs) Yeah, but, you know, people are ultimately, I mean, people are going to drink Coke. People are stupid. Yeah. A, lot, uh, a, a, a lot of people are just really dumb. But yeah. the general consumer, that's how stuff like this happens. The general consumer doesn't care. They go, okay, well, it's not my problem. I can't Right, but those people it. aren't going to do anything or care anyway. Right. They're going to drink Coca-Cola and die. Yep. But I stopped care. eating fast food and stopped drinking soda completely years ago, and it was the best decision I ever made. The problem is momentum, too. Like, there's so much fucking, like you said, people drinking Coke, people buying shit at the grocery store full of sugar. Like, people, it's going to be hard to get people to change their ways. You know what I mean? There's so much momentum But that's going. what people, people are, they go, oh, that's terrible. And they go, okay, well, if you want to fix that, you can't, let's say Coke. I don't know if it's Coke, but let's say it's Coke. Yeah. You say, oh, that's terrible. I should do something about that. You go, well, you, you can't drink Coke. And they're like, oh, well, I'm not going to do that. But that's terrible. They're not like, willing to give up stuff or, or go put themselves out of out to do to do better. Most people, right? What but we do don't care all about animals those on the entire planet drink. Water. Besides Coke. humans, <laughs> Water. But it's like well, another thing. It's like my dog drinks Dr Pepper. Of course, what, what have people been drinking for the last Jack, however long people have existed? I've Water. seen why did, Water. We, why did we switch it up and start adding all this sugar and all the? It's just Jack. I've seen a polar like, a polar bear drink Coke. <laughs> uh, I've seen that commercial too. Yeah, I mean that, that's natural. Not they're nice. red. They, they're white, and they because they want to give you cancer and they want you to die and they yeah. want you to pay medical bills and do all that shit. Yeah. Well, here, every time uh, Trump does his hair, we lose a foot of ozone layer and a polar bear <laughs> sets on fire. It's the goddamn truth. Well, quoting look. Joe Rogan, there. <laughs> then the polar bears just drink, drink less coke. So damn, sign the petition. Hey, and, uh, clean seriously, up the fish, just we be should careful. fly down there to Okeechobee, and we should... Can we just drive? It's not too far. Yeah, we But if we fly, fly over, we can get really cool footage. We can yeah. take Ben's plane. True. I have a plane that we can use for really, really cheap. <laughs> His friend right. has a plane we can borrow. <laughs> we should skydive right into the fucking farm. And go just talk to those people and see what they think. And just put the, put the camera in front of their face and hit record. No yeah, one's see if we done can that talk yet. to some people. You guys see the video of Rick Scott eating at a restaurant in Venice and getting booed out of the restaurant? No. no. <laughs> Jax, why, why don't you go to pull his that office? Up. I don't know what that would accomplish. Talk to him. He will not talk to me. If you sit there and go, I... Me, but we got to sure. work our way up if the ladder. If he knows then. who I am, he hates me. But if you go there and you... I think you have a chance to be like the next uh, <laughs> Michael Moore. I'm pretty sure that if you go... Oh, hit record but on not, my camera. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you go there, they. I think... If, I don't know how, but there's a way where they have to respond to you. Like, I don't know if you go you there is the best idea. Noise about but if you it. send them a yeah, letter or something like that, on the side, I'm like pretty mine. sure that they have to respond to you, like these government officials. Yeah. I mean, his office is a public office. It's taxpayer money. But so, I understand that, but is that going to like is that gonna solve anything, you know? Well, it'd be interesting to get Maybe. his perspective. It's it's not, got, it might not got, solve anything, but it will make noise, and it will fucking raise hell. That's true. And we did get, you know, when we did the, the private trying. beach prank, you know, pranking the yeah. entire state of yeah. Florida, we got a statement from Rick Scott's office. Right. We yeah. did during, in that video. Yeah. Well, I think if you request, so if, you, if you write them an email or, or a phone call, tell them who you are and say you'd like to have a sit down. 
I don't know if you'll get him, but at least somebody from his office, they, they will probably... And we can encourage more you know people saying? to write letters, call, let them know. Yep. If we get 100,000, that's what I'm saying. If, like, if, if somebody comes forward right. and I get an email of like, hey, this is something that we can actually do. If we get like 100,000, million, 3 million people on board with this... Like well, they'll have to do something about. It. I just don't know what we. Can if you guys, so, if like, anybody yeah, watching this, on the White House website. Yeah, if anybody watching first. this video has any sure. inside scoop into somebody in these offices that can get Jackson meeting, please uh, hit us up and let us know. You know what I love? I up. love the e- evolution of the Jug Squad. Trying it's a to, long man. way, man. I can't sit and watch this shit happen. It just makes me so mad, dude. But that's what's pretty funny about about the power of the Jug Squad is you go anywhere. Find a thirteen-year-old kid. Sorry, Jack, and ask him about the, the Jig Squad. That, you and you're like their, them. you're like their president. Yeah, crazy. Oh yeah, he's they running the you. beach. Especially because we got like Tifu on board now too. He's yeah. going to promote the petition to either tonight or tomorrow. Is he? Yeah, yeah, we need that. I think he's. Uh, we need that. He could almost single-handedly get those could, last yeah. thirty thousand. You know, if I can get <laughs> yeah. sixty thousand, he yeah. can. Or and 70, we only have two fucking really... days. We need Tifu now to promote this freaking petition, dude. All right, seventy-two thousand. You have 72,000 petitions. Signatures, yeah. So, so all you need is signatures? Mm-hmm. And how many more do we need? Uh, right, 28,000. <laughs> Another 28, so you need 100,000. Total, yeah. Total. For the White House to release a statement. <laughs> right. And if that happens, the state will have to take notice. Hell yeah. You There's know. one to, for Donald Trump to resign, and it already has 140,000. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's right on the front. All they're going to do is they're going to release a statement about it. You know, it's not, That's like, a troll. it's not like he can act. Right. Yeah. right. There was one like, deport Justin Bieber back to Canada. He got like, you know, 400,000 signatures. But the thing is, dude, like, the censorship on the White House website is unbelievable, dude. Like, you know, for over two hours when I first launched the petition, Nobody could sign for two hours straight during the peak of my videos. But do you think that was because of the, because they were? You think they're trying to shut it down? Have a crappy website. They're the fucking White House. <laughs> Should they not have a website that can handle hey, traffic? Think like, back to uh, when they had the healthcare enrollment. It crashed like the first day they did it. Yeah, but that's like on like Obamacare. A, that was a huge scale. That was yeah, like yeah, a nationwide yeah. yeah. scale. Right. You know? But I'm pretty sure they're I'm probably one YouTuber. <laughs> I don't think they're really trying that hard to make the petition side of the site that great. No. For for sure. I mean, dude, look, I literally, I did an Instagram poll. Is anybody having problems signing? 50% said they were not able to sign. How many people responded to that Instagram poll? Uh, something like 30,000. That's crazy. See, that's a, that's the jig yeah. squad right there. So, like, that's what like, coming I am out. so convinced. We, we have already had over 100,000 people try to sign this. It's just it's not letting everybody sign it. And it seems like the, the closer we get to 100,000, the harder it is for people to sign, which is crazy. It's and you have up. 48 hours. 48 hours, yep. So we're going to have Ben on at 7.30 to talk about the other side of this or no? But hey, it was under 50,000. It, uh, it was at like 54,000 <clears throat> two days ago. Now we're at 73,000. Really? We'll get yep. there. That's what I'm saying. So then what? Then we expect to hear a response from yeah. somebody. The, the and White House office contact has, you directly. To, has to release a statement, whether it's on their website, whether they directly right, hit me right. up. Well, we're going to do something, dude. We're going to well, make we some make sure next we level. Gotta, we got to go do some on. crazy shit and make a documentary about it. We have to. I've just you know, I've been brainstorming as much as I can. It's just, oh, you know, my, my YouTube <clears throat> channel is... Evolving. Like, it, yeah, of course. But the reason why I've been so successful is because we, you know, we go in the ocean, we have fun, we do 24 hour challenges, we film all these videos. Like, I don't even want to be right. in my backyard right now. Right. right. Where you don't want to go in the like, water. Is, why my channel is known is the videos we filmed in the backyard right. and at the beach at my house. And like, you're you literally, your you set where you the film beach. is infected. I don't even want to, I don't want to be there. I want right. to go back to LA. I want to go to Georgia and film with the Almighty or like just go anywhere, you know, go back to Hawaii. That sucks, dude. I love this town so much. So do I. Yeah, it's more than I love anything. In California or of anywhere. Of course, dude. I, I hate LA. Like I like a lot of people in LA and I make really good content every time I go to LA, but <laughs> ten out of ten times I would rather Well live think here. about like Danny, like your you remember your series Deck Hands? Like you like right now that would be like yeah, yeah we, non-existent. We wanna, those guys are completely guys. out of jobs. Actually that right would now. be a good episode. Are they really out of jobs right now? Dude, nobody's going on fishing charters. Right. Like I will not buy any locally caught right. fish. Nobody's I will not eat local any meat. locally. I'm not buying fish. seafood right now. Hey, I'm a no. pescatarian. I don't eat red meat, chicken. I don't eat any meat other than fish from time to time. And I will only eat fish if I know it's locally caught by like, you know, some of the deckhands by Merrick by somebody that I know 
personally that caught it. Right. I, like, I won't do it now. I just, no way. No, what does it mean? When did you become that? When did you start? Doing uh, that? Three years ago. Just because the, like, it, it, I stopped eating meat when I looked into where the meat that I was eating came from, and I became so disgusted and so sick to my stomach. Yeah, like, it's fucked if, up. if you know somebody that raises cows in, like, open fields that, like, live a good life, you know? That's fine. I have absolutely no problem with that. But, like, the fast food industry, the meat, like, the animals, uh, what yeah. they go through for you to get you don't a even chicken watch those tender. Videos. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah, though. Yeah, the you want to be ignorant to what you're eating, though? Like, no, but that's yeah, what I mean, that's... you should watch them. I just mean they're bad. It's they're horrible. It's so yeah. horrible. Most of these animals don't even get to see sunlight yeah. until yeah. the day they die. But that's the, the view I was talking about. The people are, they, they go, well, that's terrible. And they go, but I still want my McDonald's, so I'm still going to eat there. Right. See those people. Those are people don't stupid. matter. But that's like everybody. <laughs> that's like uh, yeah, the world, that's, bro. that's the pro- I don't get it, dude. I do not get it. Like if you want to eat meat, like because it puts you out. It's like I, I want to eat my McDonald's. I want it now. I don't want to have to do any extra work. And if that's what has to happen, then so be it. And well, they make it affordable for you know poor people to eat cheap food like that. Yeah, shit. Jack, sure. did you not go to In and Out when you were in California? No. It's hard for me not to go. <laughs> I, I get it. See, you know, I get it. But like, then again, <laughs> that's like. That's like the difference between someone with Instagram followers and not, you know, it's just another person. It's like, it's not like, this person's not special because they have a certain amount of followers or they might be, they might be really a really sophisticated, smart person. And in my experience with people who are very popular on social media, nine out of 10 times, they're very intelligent, very hardworking, like sophisticated people. Of course, there's the one out of 10 that's just super ignorant and an idiot and became famous off of being ignorant, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this I, is, I this is you. my standpoint <laughs> on meat and this is the reason why I don't eat it anymore. Um, I believe that, you know, say a hundred years ago, yeah. hunting and farming and raising your cattle and raising your pigs was a means of survival for a lot of people. 200, 300 years ago, like on people, your own farm, people, yeah, people had their own animals, their own cattle, so that they could provide for their families, so they could provide for their friends. But we live in a day and an age where you can go to any store and get literally the healthiest thing you could ever put in your body at any given time, and still people are eating these animals that are being tortured and killed and just like, well, like let's say chicken like- pens. They live in like they sleep on their feces and their piss and they. Yeah. Live on it, and they get all kinds of crazy infections, and yeah. you know they don't. They're not like, oh, this one, ha- this one's infected, and it's covered in tumors, so we're not going to sell it. No, they still sell that shit. You yeah. know how many tumors go through uh, chickens? Like, dude, oh, I, don't I was this. eating I chicken. I bit into a tumor. <laughs> I bit into a tumor. Where, you, no. did you, Gustin, Where did you get chicken with a tumor on it? Chick Fil A. No, no, it wasn't Chick Fil A. I was in California. I think it was like a Denny's or some shit. Oh, that was stupid back then, five years uh, ago. I don't know. But McDonald's is it was the like. most disgusting. <laughs> what shit. happened out, when you bit into it? <laughs> it was what like it? I can't even describe. Was it hard? Was, was it soft? Like, what, what was like it like? Rubbery and just the. I can't even. Well, let's say, like, if you're driving down the road and you're like, "Man, I'm hungry. I need to stop real quick." Go get like, an apple. Go get a banana. Where do you even find one of those? The McDonald's on every block. Yeah. Every no gas store. station has a banana. Yeah. Right, but if you're sure. that lazy, then fuck you. Yeah, are you, you lazy, then, fuck dude. Like, if you can't yeah. fuck. All right, I'm, look, in, you're I'm like, in that category. Oh, it's expensive. Health food's expensive. It's like you know what oh, else yeah. is expensive? Mm-hmm. Dying of fucking cancer when you're yeah. Old, you know? yeah. Like, straight up. You're gonna you're gonna it's die if expensive. you eat unhealthy. And yeah, uh, I think it's worth spending a little bit more. Shout money. out to Newport. Shout yeah, out to the go. Newport concrete sponsor. But, there, but that's the thing is like there's <laughs> people that eat super healthy their whole life, vegetarians, and they die of cancer. Ready for you never a cigarette know. Anyway. Show me those people. Please. <laughs> there's tons. Dude, uh, what? Yeah, uh, but I mean, it I don't just, mean it's the right thing to do, man. You I just, know? you know, I just want people to be healthy, and I want people to think for themselves. And it's really easy to close your eyes and eat that burger without, like, you know, like I think that if you want to eat chicken and you want to eat a burger, go kill that animal with your bare hands. Yeah, yeah. Cook no, it up ain't yourself. nobody got time for that. Shoot it with a bow and arrow. I'm just saying, like, <clears> you know, like it's kind of selfish to just like. Take an animal's life that you know nothing about. I feel like uh, I, yeah, I, it's like sure. a conscious decision for me. I just sure. it just freaked me and out. A lot it's of like, people feel that. It's way. It's like it's, it's a lot rare. easier for me to instead of pick up a burger to pick yeah. up an apple. It's like all right, yeah. well nothing died. It's healthier for me. Like what the fuck was I doing? Yeah, the world would be a better place for sure if more people thought like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean that's just my personal stake. I don't look down on anyone for eat. like I, right. I'm an Thank advocate God. for healthy living. <laughs> I'm not gonna look down on anyone or treat anyone differently for. You know, eating shit food. I'm just gonna be like, 
you're, you're an idiot. Like, why are you eating yeah. shit food? Like, you could be eating healthy. Like, I love you. I want you to be a better person. That's why I'm telling you this. Like, I, I'm not, I don't, like, think you're a bad person. I just think that you could, like, I don't want to say ignorant, like, you're ignorant to it, but, like, the definition they are of ignorant, ignorant is uneducated on. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be more like lazy, like, or like. For sure. That's, that's like my stance on it. It's like, I'm hungry and driving down the road. I'm not going to go to 7 Eleven and get an apple. Like, I'm not going to be full after an apple. I'm going to McDonald's, get a dollar right, cheeseburger. Right, but you could get a salad somewhere. You could get all sorts of shit. Yeah, I mean, there's 80,000 I mean, edible plants and people are eating the you same You go to Wawa, animals. get a veggie sub real quick. On I the fly. went to Van Harry's. I got a veggie Cuban. I just Cuban. ate there yesterday. Shout out. Fire, dude. <laughs> really? So good. Yeah, yeah. I, I had Havana the meat Harry's Cuban. Oh, their veggie Cubans oh, are I never bomb, liked dude. Havana Harry's. Dude, Havana oh, Harry's they're is fire. Yeah. I Have you, wait, wait, wait. Have shout out you, Havana Harry's and their rice and beans are on point. Fuck Havana Harry's. Have you ever been to La Terracita in Tampa? I have not. That's gas, too. Bro. Yes. I have to take yes. I took. There's one on 66. Who did we take? I took Edwin or somebody. That, oh, Edwin, Edwin and uh, Brandon. and Brandon. Oh yeah, yeah. bro. After, I'm uh, taking you to fucking La Terracita, and Terracita's, you will yeah. hate Havana Harry's after that. It is well, the most. <laughs> it's the most ghetto hole in the wall Cuban restaurant you've ever been to. They're open till like 4 a.m. on weekends. Yeah, but he doesn't eat meat. He just told you, so it's not. You can make a get you can get beans bedroom. and rice. You don't have to get meat. Yeah, Jack well, see, had, Havana say Harry's one more beans thing, and rice. I'll pretty much be done with the topic. I want to ask you a question. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Have you ever, you probably haven't, but at 4 a.m. at McDonald's, you go through the drive thru and it's all Uber Eats. Can you imagine? Like you're saying, like people are lazy. Beer, they can't even go to McDonald's to pick up their own bad food. I don't think Jack's even sipped his yet. Oh, I have. It's like oh, halfway. Yeah. You need another one or no? You're good. No, I'm good. That, that's what I'm saying. Like people are not only so lazy that they can't even go to McDonald's themselves. They have to have Uber Eats to go to McDonald's. Yeah, and we're that's asking them to do something like another level. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like these are the same people that go there. We're asking them to like not eat there ever. They're like they're not even willing but to drive there. But we're not asking there. those people that because they're not going to do it. We're talking to people who are you know might make that decision and shit. Those people well, are going to change. But there's a reason that there's a million people. McDonald's is because it makes. Yeah, and there's money. also a huge yeah. reason why their stock is plummeting right now. Well, yeah, people are starting to realize like. Why the fuck am I eating this? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. That was a generational change between our generation and our parents' generation. Right. Yeah, the only time I ever eat McDonald's is I'm fucking drunk as shit, and I want a hot fudge sundae or some fries, and I just there's nothing else. I, and, no, and it's 3 a.m. I will get Chick-fil-A fries every oh. now and then. Yeah. That's it, though. No potatoes were hurt making this. Why is the ice cream machine always broke down at McDonald's <laughs> fuck, when I go dude, to that bitch, bro? McDonald's I swear to God. That, why yo. is the McFlurry <laughs> no, machine yeah. down? I want to know it's on Walsingham. It's always Walsingham. down. If you're hungry and it's a Sunday, McDonald's is calling and Chick-fil-A is closed. Yeah. And you know, I consider myself lazy sometimes because I use Uber Eats. But you know what I Uber Eats? Turmeric, Wheatgrass, ginger shot, and a oh, from where? Shout out juice, juice habit. habit. Juice habit I've never even heard of that. Juice major, juice major habit. shout out to juice habit. How, how, yeah. how much is that? I just had it to juice habit this uh, morning. It's like 10 bucks. 10 bucks? For I could get 10 shot. double cheeseburgers. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, one shot of die. wheatgrass you're is die. the dollar. equivalent to 10 pounds of raw veggies. Well, here's, here's what's go. funny. Think about 10 double cheeseburgers, right? Think about how much resources it takes to make. Ten double cheeseburgers, right? Yeah. How exactly. do you? How are you gonna feel bucks, after exactly. you eat ten double cheeseburgers? And think about how much resources it makes, takes to make wheatgrass. Ten bucks, also. No. Think about that. No, that's I don't. I don't. I don't believe that. I disagree. You could grow <laughs> no grass. Way. No, I'm saying you McDonald's. You would think that should cost more. It's got meat in it. That have a cow. Well, they're it's buying got it bun. in bulk. Wheatgrass doesn't little take juice anything habit. to make. It's like another thing. All right. I don't want to offend you guys. Why the fuck do we eat hot dogs still? Ooh, <laughs> those are nasty. That you would never so want to eat. terrible, dude. Everything it's cheap you would never and want to easy, eat, bro. Dude. It's like it's the it's the butthole, it it's is. the balls, it it's is. the eyes, it's the brains. They grind it all up and they shape it like dicks and people eat it. Oh my now God. Hebrew National, they bro. Just they fucking shoot it out of a little tube. <laughs> Tell me, dude. Hey, why? this is my like, one of my favorite videos on YouTube is when Snoop Dogg watches how hot dogs are made <laughs> and he fucking narrates it. And it's so fucking cl- He doesn't know what it is until it's bro. the end. That's everything that you don't want to eat on a pig that they just you, throw yeah, into a grinder. You can hear this audio. It's oh, so it's funny. heavy, dude. At it's the heavy. end, he's like, what is this? Hot dog He's like, oh, fuck no, cuz I ain't eating no I ain't never eat no <laughs> goddamn hot dog. Hey, man. I want to shout out Heber National Hot Dogs. They make their... <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so oh fucked up. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a hot dog, bro. I'm, oh, my God. Oh, I'm going to throw up, dog. I'm going to throw up. Yeah, but there's a lot of stuff that looks gross when you eat it. That's fucking... 
Foul. Hey, is there any fruit or veggie that looks gross, raw? God, up. I, I, had a, I had a jackfruit once. It was disgusting. So you got to pay attention yeah, to your fruits and veggies, too, because there's a lot of GMO fruits and fucked You're up shit. Right. You know, seedless fruits <laughs> and, like, uh, you can't even trust your own Shout fruits nowadays. But also everything that is in those fruit is also in animals, limited. and then the animal has to die. Fruits, yeah. yeah, fruit doesn't die. It doesn't feel pain. <laughs> Actually, they do. No, they That's don't they feel say. pain. Well, plants feel pain, right? They don't feel pain. They don't. They, feel, they can. They, they can, can kind of know what's going waves. on. We need. Plants we need to ask Ben waves. about this. When Ben yeah. gets here, we need to ask him his stance see, on McDonald's. Um, they you ever see was, a, a plant get hooked up to a lie detector test? No. And yeah, then you that. think you picture the plant on fire in your head, and it starts going like this. Stop. I swear to God. Yeah, they're pretty. They're smart, man. I That's saw on the wild. Joe Rogan podcast the way the guy put it, it was like basically. Can we, can we like, turn off the hot dog video? Cut maybe. your fingers <laughs> off and like it knows, but it doesn't feel. I don't want to know where my hot Think dog comes like, from. No, uh, you need to watch this for us because you're the guy who fucking I want eats all that seared, Mickey D's. This is going to be seared in your little Jewish brain, yeah, big Jewish it, brain. Yeah. Really smart. Like a, hey, and those hot dogs were kosher too. I swear. You don't want to eat those oh, anymore, for God, us. I'm dude. still going to eat them. Let's be honest. Oh, look! That's what they do to you. Tumors. They give you. I want to mention is like. You know what's crazy to me is that vegans that promote health and, you know, don't want animals to be murdered, I feel like get way more hate than people who, <laughs> That's who do do it, you know? So but you know like, why? Why? It's because the vegans are typically like the let's, you know, peaceful earth, we don't like guns, and the people that eat meat are the ones that kill animals, which are like, yeah, guns, I'm going to go kill you if you don't agree with me. Yeah, they're just numb, you know? It's really sad, too. <laughs> Because the meat industry, um, this all these cattle, so like, off topic more, right more um, carbon gets released into the air, which is going to be the end of our atmosphere. It's yeah. proven. Every, every scientist who knows any, like, that knows what he's talking about whatsoever will stand by the fact that once too much carbon gets released into the air, we're all going to fucking die. Right. Oh, yeah, it's that's just, of course. It's guaranteed. Yeah. And most of the carbon that gets released into the air right now is because of the, all these cattle farms. That's true. So that's another reason that I stopped eating meat is because I don't want to contribute to the death of our planet. You know, I just I don't want to do it. And every right. time I eat meat, I feel like I am because... Oh, God. Can I take the fat people stance real quick? But it yeah, is. go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, fatty. I feel like if it's, I stop eating at McDonald's, it's not going to do anything, though. McDonald's is not going to close because I stopped right, eating Right, but, but, but he, he knows it's that. It's a ripple effect. It's right. like it's one person stops, two people close. stop. It's like, but the thing is, it's like... But there's like hundreds of millions of people Do you there. personally want to contribute to the death of the planet? Yeah, or you got to worry about like yourself. you're contributing to a better planet? Yeah. Think about it this way. Think about. Me, you know, like, think can't about, worry about everybody else and make your decisions based. Think, yeah. think about it this way. It is a really slow effect. Think about how people thought about McDonald's twenty years ago. It was the greatest thing in the world. Versus how people think about it now. <laughs> McDonald's was right. like that's true. When McDonald's first came right, out, you know it was it's like, bad it was for you, great. but you eat it. It was like Disneyland. Yeah, you know, my right. dad talks about McDonald's like. When McDonald's came around, like everyone ate there. It was the greatest. Oh thing yeah, since the fucking play bread, place and, and shit. And yeah. then like it's like it's like the government pushing us to drink milk our whole life. Yeah, yeah. milk builds strong. Oh yeah, good dude, I haven't drank milk. I haven't drank milk in a decade. Bro. Real talk, I did stop years. drinking. What's wrong with milk? milk? I drink milk. Oh, uh, are you serious? Yeah, of course I drink uh, milk. Man. I'm American. I drink Coke. I go to McDonald's. I drink milk. I do it all. You're gonna fucking die. You're gonna fucking die. We are all gonna die. At least I'll be happy. I grew up my whole life drinking milk, whole milk. Dude, when I, I go to like McDonald's and I get that dollar cheeseburger, I'm like, this is the best deal. I you got seriously all day. drink milk? Yeah, why not? A lot of people still drink milk. We are the only milk. animal on this planet that drinks another animal's milk. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Yeah. It's not natural. If you think Bad, about it and, and watch some shit about milk, oh, yeah. you I won't mean, drink it. Drinking no milk makes your bones more brittle. Another thing, it's no, all it that's not true. That yes, is, it is. 100%. Yes, it is. The calcium it's makes your fat. bones way more brittle. true. Calcium, hey, 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 you know what else is in milk? Listen to this. Do you know there's? Do you know there's? There's more calcium in one clove of broccoli than there is in a whole. Gallon of milk. I think that's fake news. No, it's I'm gonna 100% have to check that true. out. We're gonna Another have to get thing, a nutritionist. All on here. protein yeah, you could from look it up, bro. comes from plants. People are like, how am I gonna get my protein? Plant how do you protein. think the animal got its protein? We're gonna plants. have to do a follow up with a nutritionist. This is going off topic, but I have no, it's not. I have real questions I need answers. You got to do some research for us. This is all true. We got to watch some Netflix documentaries. There's like ten times more protein in kale than there is in meat. Oh yeah, ten times more. I eat kale too. I have watched. See, I'm not discriminated. I eat all of it. Dozens of Netflix documentaries directed by left. 
Democrats than any of you. <laughs> and a lot of those no, I mean, documentaries yeah, are complete Netflix. shit, but there's yeah. so much truth to there it. There is. There's yeah. a lot of truth. Like, and the thing is, like, I clickbaited the shit out of my last video. I put a dead body in my thumbnail. It wasn't actually a dead <laughs> body. I just wanted to create a thumbnail that would get as many people as possible to look at my video because I know that it's for a good cause. You know, yeah. like, if, if you have to lie and you have to trick people for a good cause, I'm all for it, you know? Like, if people hate you for okay. tricking them into looking at something that's going to yeah. greatly benefit the planet or the state or your life, like, by all means, go for it. I will yeah. never be mad at somebody for tricking me into looking at hey. something that's going to, you know, help my life. You Speaking know? about clickbait, I want to talk about... I, I, this is, like, way off topic. Okay. But, dude, <laughs> have you looked at Joe Rogan's channel? <laughs> he I'm is, like... Opposite of clickbait. So real. He's dude, so real, and it's dude. so successful. Because he has good guests. Sickest podcast. That's is why that, we have Jack on is here. Is that like an interesting like thing? Rogan. Like, like, let's talk about that for a second. That's like a really, he is, honestly, he's one of the one most successful media outlets in the world right now. Yeah, That absolutely. is doing absolutely, he's doing like not zero clickbait. It's like almost negative clickbait because those thumbnails, the titles, they're like, all it is is episode number name of person you've never heard of mm -hmm. but they talk about shit that gets so much attention well, I, this is what i want to say about that is there are a lot of really dumb people unfortunately but there's also way more people that are actually really sophisticated the people that just sit in their house and you know like i like to think that like out of every 100 people 99 of them have more good than they do bad yeah and like there's a lot of people who like get off on inspiring, you know, educational, like, converse, like conversations, you know, where they're actually talking about something of substance instead of like, fuck bitches get money, smoke dope, like yeah, rap, yeah. you know, like there's a lot of people that are yeah. really that love that. Yeah. But like the thing is, like I watch all those videos, but it's because I'm like, is this really? What our generation is into, yeah. and like a lot of people find it comical. This so like, sick. there's like this. I got a follow-up question to the milk thing. Yes, That's please. I will crazy. answer any how, question. How, you, how do you eat ice cream? I don't. That makes everybody happy. Listen, There's candy, vegan ice cream. candy tastes great. You can make Does ice cream without, without milk. With, in moderation. There's alternatives you of milk. Like, you got to drink you almond agree? milk and can shit. If I had no McDonald's, no candy, no ice cream, your life what's probably, the point of the even living? The quality of your life would enhance No, it wouldn't. I'd be so depressed. For you. Do you do anything man. fun? Like, what do you do? No, I work, time. and then I buy McDonald's and ice cream with the money. That is your satisfaction in life. You need to seek out something. But it's all good. You got to live your life, man. If you want to eat McDonald's, Fuck it. Eat I that just, McDonald's, bro. You know, I, I want you to live longer. <laughs> I want you to be happy. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Man, I appreciate you. I don't think that you about my well being. Fully be satisfied hey. until you find like something that you're passionate about. Like, Dude, is this not more is fun up. right now? Is this not more engaging and more interesting than eating a cheeseburger? Oh yeah, Trump. this is so, good. Yeah. There you go, man. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of other things that are way more fun than this. But I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna eat ice cream. Probably. Okay, you know, that's fine. <laughs> hey, you do that. You. That fucking that da whatever that thing is that you jumped off of in L.A. Yeah. How high was that? Uh, seventy feet. Yesterday, in the Bahamas, I found we were driving through the woods and we found this big hole in the ground because in in um, Freeport, Bahamas, there's like this underwater channel of caves that run oh. through the whole entire island of Freeport. And like scuba divers have explored it or whatever. So if you're driving through the woods, you can find these giant gaping holes in the rock mm -hmm. that go into a big pit of water. And that, that water leads out like through caves to the ocean. And we found this big hole in the ground in the woods. And we there was a ladder coming out. So we jumped into it. I think it was it had to have been no more than 30 feet, dude. It scared the fuck <laughs> out of me, dude. I mean, I'm probably I'm getting older or whatever, and you do it all the time. So like you now, drink more milk and then you. It have to scares worry about your me bones. worse than it does. <laughs> but dude, I'm glad that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> was it? No, but yeah, so force is serious. I'm taking it as a joke. <laughs> if this is more than twice the height of that, dude, there's no fucking way in hell I would have jumped off it. And that's that was that was easy for me. I've gone a lot higher. Than What's that. the highest you've ever jumped uh, off? The Sankey Bridge. Sankey Bridge. When you were little, feet. did your dad let that's you? It's a have big milk? ass bridge. Uh, my parents. I drank this more is, like, milk. Crazy to me. I drank more milk than. All of you, I guarantee it. I drink yeah, that's why you don't break bones when you're jumping off of all this. I've broken more bones than all of you put together, too. I guarantee you. <laughs> I probably would have broken more if you didn't have Right, milk. but Forrest, is Thank this, you, Mike yeah, have you done any research on this, Forrest? Or are you just what, going milk? off of what you've been told let your me, whole life? Let me, let me well, add to this I can tell you topic. why I'm thinking this. 
Okay. So when I was little, yeah. I drank, like, my dad, according to what I heard, two gallons a week. Right, which I is probably not true. I, I drank more than that. Yeah. Right. I Me never too, broke a bone in my life. And then, in fact, right. I had to have but my baby teeth. But that's because all you do is Did you, you ever do anything <laughs> that you possibly would have <laughs> broken no, like, bones? I literally Did had you do to have, anything risky? I had to have a dentist extract my baby teeth because my bones were so strong from... Because the milk the rotted them into your gums. <laughs> oh, this guy's over here convincing us that his teeth are so strong because he drank oh milk. We just lost God. the battery. Do you care? Put I'm, ser- I'm not even playing devil. I thought that milk was good for you. Before. No, I right, and, and I, I did too. too. I did too. So did I. And I'm going to seek but I, professional. But I've watched some, some videos Wait, Jack, and shit, you, If bro, I get a nutritionist, will you come not, back? Hell yeah. yeah. Hell Me yeah. and him we, will bond I'm and become best friends. I'm finding nope. a, nutritionist. a nutritionist. Hey, but look, Where I'll tell you what. I saw a nutritionist. When I went to the gym, I had like a free thing with my trainer <laughs> and a nutritionist. And the one thing they told me was to stay away from dairy for sure. Yeah, dairy is Fucked. Milk is milk dairy? All dairy, yeah. I guess so. What do you mean you guess? <laughs> milk is okay. like the poster Listen. fucking billboard for dairy. <laughs> okay, look, they try to fatten these cows up as much. Well, that as I possible. I understand. Okay, bad, how much dude. hormones and shit do they pump into those cows on the daily? Well, they also blow up say, if you don't milk them, though. Listen, that's, right, but you don't got to pump listen, them up. But listen, you're not supposed to milk them. Their babies are supposed to drink the milk. Baby cows. Like baby cows, Cow- not humans. Cows. Baby, yeah. You know what a cow baby looks like? Cows. Yeah. Right. I'm going to have a nutritionist back here okay, and a cattle look, rancher and someone from Big Sugar, and we're going <laughs> to... This is what I'm going to say. Get them for us. They'll talk <laughs> they to you. They don't give a fuck what's coming out of those udders. Do no. you know how many <laughs> cows' udders get crazy infections where pus... They, they check it. Ugh. No, they don't. They test it. You think they test yeah, millions they do. of cows a day? No, they test the milk. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. No, they fucking don't. They're not allowed to sell it unless they test it. It's right, called, but do you think they, they're really they, testing it? That's why they, what, what they, they pasteurize, pasteurize it. it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that it's kills all test- the bad shit. No, 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 no. You gotta watch some no. videos, You're bro. Who? who told you this? That's, nope. They can't sell milk without testing. There's, this there's is what it is. Yeah, they test yeah, it. They can be like, all right, well, it won't kill you instantly. Right. It's like they can still sell candy. It's, if you watch the process, you're going to be like, well, this I've is seen, fucked I've up, bro. This is process. not what I but thought. But I'm saying they can't just suck it out of the cow and go, here you go. Look. look no, look. but they're saying here, fucking suck it out and then the pass in the test. But the test is bougie anyway. <laughs> Alcohol is, is legal. Marijuana is not. Alcohol kills so many people every year. True. Marijuana has killed no one. Free the weed. But it's illegal, and alcohol, fucking anyone can walk into any store and buy it at any time. So that's where that's where the well, whole like, the lines are blurred. <laughs> I'm just saying, like they're like, well, they can't sell they can't sell it if it's not if it's not okay. Well, they sell fucking alcohol. You drink enough of that shit, you're gonna die. It's guaranteed. It's proven. It happens all the time. But the thing is with milk, <laughs> pus and blood and all just the like the most disgusting infected cows ever. They suck that shit out of them <laughs> till they're dry, dude. I don't That's true. Like dogs, they don't drink fucking cat milk and vice versa. You <laughs> and know they what I stop mean? drinking it when they grow up. Right. I'm getting a nutritionist. Yeah. We're doing Please. we're like, doing part two. I'm literally this is gonna Forrest is in full blown <laughs> shock right you. now. Yes. We're gonna save you, bro. I promise. Hey, I give it like a month or two. Dude, I had almond gonna be milk vegan. ice cream. Tasted like shit. He's gonna be fucking. I'm gonna send you regular some. ice cream. Oh, no. Ben and Jerry's. Whatever's got the most butter fat from the cow tastes amazing. No, I I candy also tastes amazing. Right, but you know. This, like skinny people that look healthy like you get cancer too, bro. <laughs> I'm getting fat in my old age. Now you know. Not me. I've been bed. doing I've been doing yoga, so I don't I'm not getting fat ever. Just but stop drinking milk. Jack, do you do bro. yoga? Fuck um it. I stretch a lot. I don't do yoga per Dude, se, but I you stretch. You gotta a lot. come to yoga with me. I'm bro. down. Hell yeah. Every Wednesday at now it's five forty five. You know right why? that's good for you. I'm down. Danny oh, does once a week terrible. hot that's yoga. Crazy. I don't fast. I don't go in the sauna. I could be wrong, but I heard None that. that. Uh, <laughs> I just heard that you're way better off doing regular yoga than hot yoga. It's like, I heard that too. It's yeah. like you're not supposed to exercise in like. When do you guys scolding heat? heat? I never you understood time to why do people yoga. did that anyway. Every Wednesday, yeah, you should come for us. Jeez. Oh my god! Because like, if you want to, if you want to go do a <laughs> me and Ben are out making money. Oh uh, yeah, and then Fuck jump yoga. into a sauna. That's cool. But I heard that like. Something about when you're in the heat and like the blood flow to yeah. your brain. It, I, I, I'm not an expert. Man. I have absolutely I, I no read idea that, what I'm talking that. about. I read but I heard that. it's not particularly yeah, better I, I for always you than just why the fuck doing people yoga, did it you know? in hot yoga. What hot yoga? Yeah, why hot? Because I don't know. When you, you sweat, just sweat you, more. Yeah, it's just like a trend. It's like because I sure did sweat spending, my you know? fucking ass off when I. No idea. I have absolutely no idea. I Why do people like eat ice cream? Gallons. I don't fucking know. Why do people? Because it tastes no idea, dude. Freaking uh, amazing. Yeah, I like ice cream. Have you hey. tasted good ice Have cream? Have you tasted candy? 
Yeah, of course. Is that the, do you eat it all the time? No, I eat it when I'm depressed or when I want to feel <laughs> good. <you're> depressed. <laughs> you so, know AKA, you yeah, I eat it all the time. Upset? Everybody's got their I vice. I work out. I do something productive. I feel Sound man smokes myself. a cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. You work out. I eat and cow milk. I go to the gym. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. I don't switch drink milk, but I do. Yeah, yeah, you don't drink milk, but we drink. Still. But you smoke a cigarette. Yeah, he yeah. smokes fucking hella but weed. But I quit too. smoking cigarettes. I mean, uh, I quit drinking milk, so that's good. You're right working, you know, as one long step as at you're a time. making a yeah. conscious effort to become healthier I'm on my every way. day. And oh, the thing yeah. is, like, I wish I could be vegan, but it would be so hard. Don't do it. Just don't don't do it all at once. The thing is, with me, but I would like to be vegan. Yeah, no, because that is the healthiest diet on the planet. Yeah, it is. It's very hard though, because especially when every restaurant that you'll ever go to tries to put cheese on fucking everything. everything. I like cheese. I do too. Unfortunately, you're right, and we shouldn't. We shouldn't. I fuck with cheese. Damn. Oh, it's it's just crazy. I don't know. Cheese has milk in it. You gotta bro. do yoga. Jack. I know. I'm, try I hot, know. No, try hot yoga once. But you, you, I gotta you, you gotta cheese? try to do just I a do couple little sometimes. things, man. Oh, I try not to. Shouldn't eat cheese. Bad for you, bro. You're bring, absolutely hey, right. <laughs> bring your girl You're too. Absolutely right. She'll love it. I'm down. Did you bring any weed brownie, <laughs> sweetie? Well, it's like the thing is, just because a lot of people do something and because you grew up on it doesn't mean it's necessarily good for you. True. Right? That's true. Like when I go to my grandma, she's still like. You know what's crazy, too, is, m- like, between my cousins and myself and my sister, like, tons of us are going either vegan, vegetarian, or pescatarian. And, and that's like, why McDonald's is having trouble with our generation, because exactly. they don't understand our because generation. Because our generation is figuring it out. They're like, wow. Like, They're killing you know, because us. We're a bunch our entire of, uh, planet is call. going to fucking die. Hopefully our generation isn't do. too late, and we can still save yeah, the world. Yeah, but millenn- we're so much but smarter than past generations. It's crazy. Millennials will it's spend crazy. eight dollars on avocado toast because they're vegan. It's because we see all the but baby then they rent that, their car. We, see all the, we notice all the baby members that fucked shit up, and so the younger people are kind of taking notice of it. But I it's, honestly it's, stop drinking alcohol. I will drink alcohol on occasion, on very special occasions. I can't stop drinking alcohol. But people drink alcohol. <laughs> yeah, me neither. All but what's alcohol. funny is I I have friends that go to the organic supermarket. They buy all organic food, all organic this that. Spend hundreds of dollars on organic everything. Hell yeah, money well spent. Yeah, and then they ha- they rent their house, they rent their car, or they lease their car. They don't. Who own gives a fuck spend, about any of that? They spend all the money on. So what? But their quality of life. Well, the is fuck never you been can't higher. you can't take the fucking house with you when you die. That's true. <laughs> Forrest, you're like a mini fucking Ben. Because we're in business, no, no, we need to make good, money. Though. Not everybody's time business. to play it's games. Because he's a Jew, he's a good Jewish right, but boy. But your whole life is revolving around making money. Yes. life's bigger than we, that, bro. If, Fuck if he money. Wasn't here, we would all just be sitting here agreeing with each other. Who gives yeah. a fuck about exactly. money? Yeah, true. We do need you here. For I have it, a so. customer, and he says, he says people that say money doesn't buy happiness are liars because they buy you temporary happiness but a lot of them fucking rich all, people commit suicide well, also money can't yeah. buy health they people say that yes it can because if you go to the doctor what do you pay them with you don't money, pay them with money but you're gonna die grass, but also, you pay go, with money uh, look, you hey but you don't seeds. have to go to the doctor if you ain't sick that's what well, everybody gets sick eventually yeah you don't fucking, even not vegans. everybody you know who gets, gets yeah. sick way less often Healthy vegetarians people. and vegans is that fake news no that's real news facts we're going to find out okay. when okay. I get this nutritionist in here. Oh, I can't oh, wait. Why is he a nutritionist, bro? I can't it's wait. No, I want are, are somebody... Are you guys friends with this guy? No, him, dude. I want I mean, somebody that's guy. literally like love a professional... This, new, this like, is all I new went to info school, to Forrest. I know about where milk comes from Forrest is the professional that. devil's advocate. Forrest has no idea be, about ben, any, anything right healthy. I was homeschooled my entire life. I did my own research. Yeah, tell me about that. Explain that to me. That's something that a lot of people don't understand. And that's that's for somebody like me... That's like that's that's kind of crazy. So you're homeschooled your whole life. What was uh-huh. it like being homeschooled? Your Give whole me life? a percentage. How much that you learned in school have you not used in your life whatsoever? Ninety nine point nine percent of everything mm. I got taught in mm. school, I've never used in and my you guys life. Are asking that's, me that's why I, was I, I agree. <laughs> no, 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 there was a lot. I'm of not, there was a lot. Right, of I'm not right, asking right, you why. Right, I want to know. If I'm going to be serious, it's at least sixty five percent. At least basic math. And that's about the only thing I've ever used in my life. Though. Probably like algebra. The, the only reason you would ever need to know never. algebra is to be an algebra teacher. No, that's yeah. not true. I mean, not no. You're, you're right. building not. something out of wood. Sure. Okay, in construction, yeah. I use yeah. basic yeah. math. But, you but that's also, basic math, bro. You can do that with basic math. You don't need yeah. algebra. To no, know I'm not house. using. Uh, I, well, I work that's not your industry. I use an algebra. That's not your industry. There's algebra. There's uses for algebra. Sure, if you're like an engineer and architect yeah. I mean, and shit any, like that. I mean. If you, it sure. just depends on your job. I, I'm fascinated sure. by algebra. I think it's whoever created 
the whole formula. It's it's genius. Now, it's what, what I'm genius. saying is like if so, if you know early on enough that you are not ever going to do a job pertaining to algebra, then you shouldn't have to take it. And that's what schools are going towards now is more what do they call it? Focused learning or whatever. If you know you want to be a contractor when you get older, you can just go straight to that and you can cut out. American history or whatever. I don't uh, know. What they it do is. that. I don't think they yeah. let you do that. No, they're starting to do that now. Uh, we have the maybe in private school, school they let you do shit like that. Man, Jack but not doesn't like anything school. we have right now. Jack doesn't like the food, so, the school. Jack, what was it like being homeschooled? The greatest experience ever. I was the exact opposite. Of it was. Why, it was why amazing. Why? Why? Because my parents let us express ourselves creatively, and they thought there's a lot of shit in the public school system that my children are never going to need to know. And they believed that they could teach us basically good morals and, you know, like basic math, how to read, how to write on their own. Uh, they just thought that they could teach us a lot better than so the your school parents system taught you? Could. Yeah. Or my mom, they had, I had a like, tutor from time to okay, time. Okay. But when it came down to it, like, I, have to say I didn't do this. much. <laughs> I did not do much schooling compared right. to the average kid. Yeah. Which is... Awesome. I think it's yeah. great. I mean, like, but look you, at me and Turner. Because, because, wait, wait, wait. Shut the fuck up. Because you and your brothers are obviously way different than a l everybody. But you yeah, guys I mean, are also extremely, extremely lucky to be in the positions you guys are. No. That has absolutely yes, nothing to do with luck. Definitely. No. I, I agree. Yeah. It has nothing to do with luck. How love. many people are on YouTube right now that have so not, many. not a lot of views? And look at you. You have tons of views. I've also been working every right, single you can't day count for it up 11 up to just years. Right, right. No, no. I'm not saying that you're not working hard. I'm saying if you didn't have YouTube and you... And well, what's you that have to do with luck? Because well, just like football players, it's like... How many people play football? How many of them what are does professional that have to do football with luck? players? I mean, there's right, genetics. Right, but what does that have genetics? to do with luck? The best people make it to the, the best top. They're lucky. The best they're athletes. Work the they're lucky to get The there. athletes that work harder, to train Not harder, that are better than other people, there's tons hold of on, get hold paid on, more hold on, money. Hold on. The number one... The number one... I'm not shitting on you, by the no, way. No, no, no. Wait, wait. The number one non-quarterback in the whole NFL is a is shorter than all of us. Because he's lucky. That he has lucky? whatever How it is takes. he lucky? He has no genetic luck. He's, he's lucky that he has whatever it takes to do the job better than anybody you, else. How do you think you get what it He takes? trained probably his whole life. Luck. <laughs> you're, lu you're, you're lucky you got the genes you got. You're lucky that one of your videos... Antonio Brown is the shortest guy. He had no lucky genes. He's the <laughs> shortest no, dude. No, not lucky genes. He was... See, that's even more luck. He was lucky that he didn't have the good... How he trained harder. Isn't, isn't like a, he trained harder to run faster and catch the ball more that's than other people. That's on it. Well, what, what I was trying to say, and I'm not shitting on Jack. Winning I'm the lottery saying, is luck. That's Being luck. the best football player in the world is not luck. No, I, I have a component to agree with that. For sure. True. I mean, I guess that there's some aspects to where sometimes things fall into place, but I consider that more of like fate so that's than life. luck. Yeah, fate. You know? But what I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be rude to you. But no, what I'm no, saying, if you're trying to get rude. certain jobs, like mo let's say a, a large majority of people in America have to get jobs or work for somebody else, they can't pr make content or, right. or, so they go to get a job and they look at your paperwork and they go, oh, "Where'd you go to school?" And if you were homeschooled and you don't have a college degree, they're gonna throw your shit out. You're right. never even gonna get considered. That's why you should never want to work for someone. You should always want to work for yourself. Well, that depends but on the job. We need people to work. For other people, well, the world to work. Also, ninety-nine percent of the people have gone to traditional school, and they were put through the system to believe they're bred to believe that they have to be a part of the system. Well, let's let's, let's say you let's jobs. say you right. need to get your brain worked on. Right, right? But you have a brain tumor, and you go to the doctor, and he goes, "Oh, I was homeschooled." Would you would you be well, okay you're not, with you're that? You're not going to be a doctor. That's you can't be a, a, a homeschool right. brain surgeon. Right. That, that's so that's what I'm saying is you want what do you traditional mean? schooling for certain. Career sure. choices, sure, but, but it's not for everybody, what right? It's not for everybody, could, but it doesn't could, have anything to do with luck either. True, you can well, make that, it without. We're not school. talking luck anymore. Okay, we're past, <laughs> we're past <laughs> luck. Right. I'm still right, well, when I'm it still comes to luck. like a very specific thing, like a brain surgeon, yes, but sure. What people like? All right, this is my problem with this generation. I the thing that pisses me off more than anything on the planet is when somebody says, "I don't know how." I can't because I don't know how. And it's like, how much effort have you put into figuring this yeah. out? Like, yeah, that's true. I reached a point in my life where I was like, if I didn't know how to do something, it bothered me. And I knew that I had all the tours. We have the internet. Yeah, you we could do anything. Virtually, yeah. you can we, figure any, it all out. Any answer right. can be questioned. And if you're any not question the can views, be answered with the internet. Well, what I was, what I was saying, like, what I was worried about is you have a lar large following of kids that are in school still. 
Yes, And I absolutely. don't want them to get the wrong idea seeing you say, oh, I was homeschooled. It's the best thing that ever happened to me. And then they go, I don't want to be in school anymore. Jack says it's a waste of time. Why should I go? He didn't fuck say yeah, it was a waste out. of time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It, it, that, I mean, drop the fuck out right now. <laughs> don't could, go to college. That could be right, very like, dangerous for a lot of high people. school? No Don't way. go to college. Tell your parents to go fuck themselves. College is <laughs> fucked, dude. Like, Roast them. Like, but on paper, I mean... Right, but gonna, it depends on I'm going to I'm going to get shit on here. Hey, but look, if you want to be a YouTuber like Jack, like the people that are looking up to him, you but, don't need to that's, graduate that's high school. Luck. You don't need There's to go to ton- college to be the fucking that's top luck. YouTuber. I have, We're also com- is why is that from luck? Forrest. Forrest has a ma- you have a master's yeah, degree? Yeah, a master's degree. Okay. Yeah. How much has that done for your life? Well, if I when I see a customer and they come in and they go, "Why should I use you?" and I go, "Because I have all these That does not mean shit to me. Well, because that's you, but I have million dollar companies that come to me and they go, we want you to do our work. What can you show us? Why should we use you? I say, because I'm real good. I respect you. No, because they look at my page. Well, you could probably that spit better game to better than that. your right. own business for right. sure. It's I respect everybody. And, and it's not necessary. I'm not in shitting every on school. Industry. I think school right. is good for a lot of people. I think that if you're going to school to genuinely use that as a tool to better your own business or your own life, like, do you work for someone or do you work for yourself? Do you run your own business? Yeah, I work for myself. So, because you work for, you don't need a degree to work for yourself. No, you don't, but it makes Absolutely you look not. way better. I, when I was in school, I was one of my professors. Said, makes you I never knew you, I never knew you even went to college until today. <laughs> I have two undergrad degrees and a master's degree. I went to so much school. People but you're in, done with school, right? Yeah. But right. how much money do you still owe? On school, nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing. All, right, all right. So here's because what my I parents. That's my, impressive. Because my parents planned ahead and made sure that that was. So but that out, doesn't happen. Shout to out most, to my parents. That doesn't happen to shout most. Shout out people. to your parents. <laughs> yeah. His parents are very financially intelligent. They're yeah, Jewish, but, and that's what they passed on to me. <laughs> They're Jewish. <laughs> not to be racist. But what I'm but saying, what I'm saying, Jewish. yeah, because is that not to be um, racist. Shout out to the Jews. Shout out to the Jews. That totally threw me. Run the whole world. I forget what I was saying. You were talking about your degree and your parents making you go to school and. Oh yeah, yeah. So when I got when after when I was there, I was like, this is a waste of time. I'm already making money. Why should I even bother? But now, literally, when when people people come to me and they go like, "What credential?" Like, I meet people from government, like governor, governors, and senators, and stuff like that. Your best friend's you, Rick Scott. Yeah, yeah, that's Ben's best friend. Let's <laughs> not go back to that. Topic. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. yeah, and um, I met somebody the other night. I want to name him because I don't know if he wants to be on the video. But I met him, and it's like well, what credentials do you have? And it's like, oh, I have this and that. And they go, oh, okay. And it's like, it's like almost in their mind. It's like now this conversation can continue. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, and when I was in college, I had a, a professor and he said, he goes, everybody's here to get their ticket punched. That's what he told me. So not necessarily, you're not necessarily there because you want the, you want to, the knowledge that they're providing you. It's that once you finish, you have that degree that no one can ever take away from you, and it makes you look really good mm-hmm. on paper. Like if somebody didn't know, so overrated, and they didn't know Jig Squad, and they didn't know Forrest or whatever, mm-hmm. and they just saw both of us on paper, and I had a degree and you did it for what job? It's a very close minded way to look. But at they're automatically. Like, yeah. I'm not saying this is not true, but they're automatically going to say, "Well, this guy had the wherewithal to go to school. He must know more than Jack does." In that particular yeah, but that depends situation, on who. that is correct. But that's how I don't even think that's, that's correct. People, right, look, that's how look, employers look, hire. But, but not everybody. Two, two no, what job are you talking about applying you for? Said it. Okay, I, look, I look, see a job. Uh, I send my resume in. I have a degree. You don't. Who's getting hired? We yeah, have what we job? Live in, though, okay, it doesn't then. matter. Yeah, sure it matters. All right, all right, shut the fuck up, everybody. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, we live hey, in a both time. one work, motherfucker at a time. Shut the fuck if up. Both bitch. of you applied at my at a construction company I work at. I'd probably hire Jack because he looks like he could work twice no, as hard as you. Like, and I don't give a fuck if you have a degree because you probably can't even hit a find, nail with a hammer. Find a construction company. Call him up and say, Would you rather have somebody with a degree? I work or with construction. No. Everybody that we work with has a degree. Ask, ask Everybody has hey, a felony you. on yeah, their exactly, record. Exactly, because that's... Nobody oh has a college degree. Gonna they get, have a I'm felony. Gonna, I'm going to get crucified in this video. I, I should just leave. I want to make a point. Okay. Fuck we a degree. All right, this is 2018, I'm not, I'm not trying to be hey, with you either. No, let's, I'm not, Let's, let's make it a little... Shane's just fucking you know. drunk and stoned. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Forrest has a master's degree. <laughs> Fuck that degree, We're all bro. different. I mean, but respect for getting your degree, Forrest. I do respect oh, you respect as a person for going through that. But that's not why I have it. I didn't get it because I want somebody to respect me. I got it for... I got it because my parents made me, but now... Now that I'm done, you're happy with it. it. Yeah, that's be an okay idiot with you. To not that's use all right. That yeah. to your advantage, but I'm telling sure. you, I have it on the wall, and I don't like put it in the front door, but I have it behind my desk in my office. Yeah. And when people see it, they're like, 
oh my God, like you have that. And it's like, they changed their outlook on me. Like yeah. much more respectful. Right. But what type that's of cool, person though. does that? Outlook Everybody. Change? Not me. I it's, didn't walk in here and change my yeah, outlook. Yeah, that's interesting. When I saw it. That's hey, interesting. Hey, it's in interesting. school. There are some people that in do. In school, when a teacher right. asks you, but that's kid, not everybody. What do you want to be when you grow up? 99 out of 100 say, I want to be a YouTuber. Nowadays. Yes. That's and true. that's what I'm worried about. That's Why? Okay. Another what are you thing worried I'd like about? to say is, because that's where. Hey, Shane. I'm sorry. Quit I trying him every fucking time he says something, bro. Let I him talk. I have customers that are doctors. Have a good and point. their kids say, I want to be. Yeah. I have a, I have a but customer. But I don't get it. He's a doctor. He's a multi millionaire doctor. His mm-hmm. son has a picture of you on his wall. Fire. I swear to God. And he goes, I go, what do you want to be when you grow up thinking that he'd say, oh, I want to take over dad's multi-million dollar business. He goes, I want to be a YouTube star. It's way more fun. It is, but like Isn't we need point doctors. No, we, we do. Smart. You're, you're not, right. not that you're but, not. That's wrong. That, that was right, but ben that's moment. not every kid. That was Ben moment. We need people. <laughs> and, and, and if you're that's, slowly <laughs> turning into Ben. Can I get another drink, please? Yeah. <laughs> I've been oh, at Ben's house every fun. single day this week, and he's rubbing off. Yeah, on yeah. Me we're gonna we're gonna have to cut you off a of Ben. Hey, but look, I understand you need doctors. You need all those people, but you do. That doesn't mean that some kid can't be want to be a YouTuber. I mean, how, what was your dad hmm. telling you when you were you're a fucking eight, idiot eight nine <laughs> ten years old like like before like elementary school age middle school age what was your mom and your dad telling you like you, you have to go to college everyone else is like they said in that? school yeah. that's oh, yeah. interesting mm-hmm. have to that's very interesting thank you but you weren't you weren't even in school so I'm, I want to know like what your your parents were communicating to you when you were that young age why did they want you to go to college if they homeschooled you because a lot high of rich school people is do. fucked. I think we can all agree that high school is corrupt and there's way more bad influences nowadays than there are good. And I don't know. I just, they just didn't see the public school system. If I went to school, I would probably go to a private school. Fortunately enough, I had parents who were financially stable that would be able to afford for me to go to private school, but they would prefer to do it on their own. Um, They wanted me to go to college because my dad is very old-fashioned when it comes down to it. He is a firm believer that if you don't go to college, you are going to be a fuck-up when you grow up. Really? He, Yeah, he he pushed so hard for me to go to college. Told me YouTube was fucking stupid. Told me not to make YouTube videos. Told me that we're dreaming, that we're idiots. You know, me and Merrick were, like, we had a very clear vision of what we wanted this YouTube channel to be, and we saw its potential, and we were so confident in its potential. But he didn't believe in it at all at the time, to be perfectly honest. Now he's got 50,000 Instagram followers. Well, can something I ask a question? Or we, or yeah, right. Am I allowed to talk? <laughs> Wait, no, I wanted to add something. I've been trying to say this for a minute. For a minute. Continue. Continue. You, got, you fuckers okay. can chime in after. There are certain industries that are in no way reliant on social media. However, I'm a firm believer that most businesses... Nowadays, thrive online unless you're a restaurant. Like most well, businesses, that, there's, need that's social media. Yeah, that's true. So, are you going to go with somebody that has a marketing degree in college, or are you going to go with me, somebody who has yeah, three that's million a good subscribers one there, and that's true. you know millions of followers that's a valid on point. all that was a good social one, media right? platforms? That's a valid point. Are you gonna Are you gonna go to the guy that has a degree, or are you gonna go to somebody with, that has actual proof? That they that know has way more followers that, that's, than that's you. True, that's true. And to true. to be perfectly honest, that's not just social media. Like you can learn so much more online than you ever could in school. Like everything that you no, learned that's, in that's school, true. you could go and figure out for yourself online. But you can become true. a mechanic. You can become right. a doctor. What what was what like when your parents were raising you when you were young? I want to know like what that was like because Dan is it, trying to be Joe Rogan <laughs> because I am trying to be I'm trying to get some some shit yeah some we real need to get into this yeah. so like because because my parents I just fucking had to go to school like the only thing I was worried about was waking up in time to get to fucking school and then I mean I didn't learn much other than like social skills or whatever but like like what what were your parents telling you because you, you're a lot of your friends I'm sure were in regular school right. And so what did your parents tell you, like, why you were being homeschooled, or what was the reason for it? They just didn't like the school system. They just, like... I can... I can they I can never really... I, I'm I, to a point, I was very sheltered growing up. Yeah. I was very sheltered from, 
from pretty much everything outside of my own life. I, I lived at the beach. I was in the ocean every day. Mm. Uh, I, you know, I, I did baseball growing up. I did golf. I actually have more golf trophies than I can count. Really? I, was, I was one of the best golfers in Pinellas County for my age for years. That's a rare fact. Yes, and I will. I have an entire cl- somewhere. There's a storage unit, a bin somewhere, completely stacked full of golf trophies. I probably fucked up by not. Being a golfer because I was Next really Tiger good. Woods. Yeah, I don't know, but um, you know, they they put me in like little league and and stuff like that to where I had like a social, you know, a social life. And yeah. I was in I was in co op, which is basically one day a week. Homeschoolers all go together and they do school together, right. so that I had somewhat of a schooling experience. Right. But like, you know, I didn't make friends with people who were in public school. For until I was probably 14 or 15, and it was because of skimboarding, it was because of surfing, and I ended yeah. up ultimately giving up golf and giving up baseball and mm-hmm. everything that I enjoyed when it came to sports because I enjoyed surfing and skimboarding so much more. And that kind of like that kind of like shaped who I was because like the skimboard and the skate and the surf culture is more of like a like beach bum, like I don't know, when you're a golfer, you put on your button up shirt and you make sure your collar is straight and uh, when you're at the beach it's way more carefree and it's way more like your form is not perfect you know it's like right. everyone you don't even has need their a own shirt s- as a surfer and as a skimboarder you have your own style so like I, that was like a really awesome way for me to express myself freely and uh, like i believe that the strictest parents raise the worst kids when it comes down to it Maybe not every single time. Sometimes strict parents can raise great kids that become doctors and musicians and, you know, are like perfect, like <clears throat> cookie cutter children that they want them to be. But my parents hardly ever said no. Like if I wanted to go out and I wanted to go hang out with friends and I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that. They really did not care what I was doing as long as I wasn't doing drugs, as long as I wasn't getting wasted. Like they really said yes to a lot. Hey mom, can I hang posters up all over my wall? Can I paint the fucking ceiling purple? Like whatever I wanted, whatever any of us wanted when we were growing up, as long as we weren't hurting ourselves, as long as we weren't being mean to other people. And like, I have friends who are single, ch- single childs, single children, who only childs, yeah, only childs. And um, shout out to the only childs. Sa- yeah, who, I'm one of them. Who have I'm a, an only like, child. Like my girlfriend, uh, she has a really like. I don't want to say she has a problem sharing. She's just, like, in, in my family, if I had a toy, it was everyone's toy. Like, we always shared everything with each other. Nothing was mine. Nothing was yours. It was a very, like, like while we could do whatever we wanted, we also had to make sure that we were fair to each other growing up. And, I mean, I don't honestly know where I'm going with this, but it, it was just... It, it was a very free, like, if I wanted to give up baseball, that was my choice. If I wanted to stop taking piano lessons, that was my choice. And I did. I regret it because I really wish I knew how to play piano better now. But <laughs> but you can learn on <laughs> the like, internet. They were, yeah, exactly. And I have. And yeah. I have. And I've gone online and I've tried to go back. I can play a couple Elton John songs. So Hell I'm yeah. happy with that, you know. But, like, they were not strict. And they pretty much just let us, like, freely express ourselves however we wanted. And... They never let us play video games growing up. Turner never played video games until he was like That's 12 or 13. That's so crazy. Come to be one of the best gamers on so the wait, entire So they were planet. strict. They weren't they were strict about certain things. They were strict <laughs> about certain things that they didn't think was good for us. Like they were strict about us not going to school. They were strict about us not playing video games, spending enough time outside, but like I think they did it perfectly, to be honest. You know, I think the the way that they ra- like I'm not complaining. My brothers and my sisters, my two brothers and my sister are all great people, very genuine. Would never want to inflict pain on anyone else wrongfully. Like I think my parents did an amazing job, and like I am not book smart by any means whatsoever. Like I have, you know, when it comes down to it, I'd say above average grammar. Like I can read and write very well my handwriting is absolute shit like uh, there's no justifying that i can't write for shit but i can type fluently like my entire life i was always writing short stories and you know like i can spit out a thousand words onto paper like it's absolutely nothing and i don't know like when it comes to book smart like i'm i'm definitely not book smart I I'm I don't know science. I uh, I know history from what I've learned online. Like I like to think I'm pretty well educated on the stuff that I need to be educated on, but like I don't know algebra. 
Uh, I know basic math. That's about fucking it, pretty yeah. much. But like, <clears throat> that's nothing that I've ever needed to. Right, you, you know, got the to, tools that to you need what, for you know? your life, and, and, and you're like, good. I taught myself how to make a website. I taught right. myself how to use Photoshop. Taught myself how to use cameras. Taught myself how to be an editor. You know, I uh, taught myself how to design products for my store. I taught myself how to make stickers and order them. To buy hats. To find the the cheapest hats online so that I can sell merch, but like also a good quality because I don't want to sell people complete shit and yeah i don't know just everything that i ever did it was something like that i was that i genuinely took interest in like they never right. forced us to do anything that we really didn't want to do and i think that that was so important and i've learned so much if i ever have kids one day which i'm terrified to have kids at the rate that we're destroying the planet to be perfectly honest yeah. i don't want to bring children into a world that's just going to be super fucked up because we're well on our way there right now but I don't know. I think just, just like just freedom of expression, just like letting them be who they want to be and letting them like learn for themselves. And, you know, you can always guide them in the right direction, but you're not always going to know what's best for them. Like my dad told me YouTube was fucking stupid. And I needed to go to college. Right. He was dead wrong. He was obviously wrong. Dead wrong. <laughs> completely wrong. Yeah. Year, like two years ago, he was like, right. Turner can't be playing this much video games. Right. I'm going to set a timer. I'm only going to let him play an hour a day. He's fucking dying in there. Boy, was he there. wrong about that. So wrong. <laughs> yeah. So unbelievable. That's, where I talk, that's what I was talking about, luck. Like, Turner might not, like, let's say Turner didn't make it, then that would have been bad. But you don't know. Yeah, but he, maybe he would have been luck, doing something though. else it, making like, money, man. Like, do you know how many times I have failed in making a viral video? Almost every single time. There's very few times where the video will do as well as I had hoped, or even better than I imagined, you know? And, like, well, what that's I'll just trial of, and error. you got to fail a hundred times before you... Like, like I think of it as paying your dues. You you're, know? like, your full-time job is YouTube right now, right? Yes, absolutely. But so, it won't be for long. I don't plan on that being that's what, I was saying. what is I do sustain forever. Is sustainable for the rest of your life? Like, absolutely what do you, not. I'm what just seeing that as my after? tool and my next step. I don't know. I just know if my YouTube channel got deleted tomorrow and I could never upload another YouTube video ever again, I am so confident I would still do just fine. What would you do? Whatever I want. Here's another that's thing. Scar that's upload, scary to me. You I've don't created, know. I have like I've backup plans. Over like a thousand videos, all of which have been backed up. Maybe I'll make a TV show. Maybe I'll put everything I've ever filmed on Instagram. Maybe I'll go to Facebook. Right. You Maybe figure I'll it out. create a clothing company. Like I don't have time to try to get my clothing company into every surf shop or into Walmart or into this and into that. And like, that's because I enjoy making YouTube videos so much that I don't feel that I need to do anything else. I see YouTube as just the first step in whatever the hell I want to do in the future. And honestly, right now I haven't figured it out. YouTube's working well for me right now. If God forbid it dies tomorrow, I'll go on to whatever I feel like doing next. You know, like, I could make a living for myself in the skimboarding industry by selling skimboards. I'm a partial owner of Apex Skimboards, and I could push those for the rest of my life and probably be okay, but, you know, I want to do better than that for myself. Would you sell merch to Walmart? Would I? Hell yeah. They're how, big corporate. How? They support, I don't care. Support sugar. Going they back to... How do you know that? Going, they buy a fuck ton of sugar products. I don't have to buy sugar products for them <laughs> They to distribute make it. <laughs> Going back to how your parents raised you and, like, being homeschooled and all that, how... Be, because a lot of people may not notice it online, but I noticed it. How are you and Turner so different as far as like your personality? We are so different, dude. It's, it's crazy. It's unbelievable. How close were you guys growing up? And then not what? that close. Really? We were. We were, but we also fought a lot. We beat the yeah. shit out of each other. Really? To be perfectly honest. Who's older? I am. You're older, yeah. right? By three years. So okay. explain to me from my perspective and a lot of people that are close to you. How are you guys so? Di why do you? Why are you guys so different? And how are you guys so well, so much different? We always bonded on, you know, like we both love surfing and love skimboarding. We both yeah. love cliff jumping. And like yeah. honestly, when we were younger, we like I was better than Turner at skimboarding, and I feel like I don't want to say he resented me for that. It's funny when we have skim videos on. Right <laughs> yeah, now, but. <laughs> but it definitely bothered him that I was better than him, and he always wanted to be better than me. And it's crazy because. Like, you know, I consider myself to be, like, I, I, I want to say this humbly, like, one of the best skimboarders on the planet. And, like, Turner, hands down, one of the best longboarders on the planet. I was... Skateboard. Yeah, longboard, longboard skateboard. skateboard. Yeah. And I was very good at longboarding, but he was just so much fucking better. And yeah. then, like, 
you know, I had skimming on him. He had skating on me. Yeah. I have surfing on him. And now he's like just the best gamer in the world pretty <laughs> yeah. much right now. And it doesn't matter what game he plays. It's not just Fortnite. Like Destiny, huge game. Broke so many world records. Yeah. H1Z1, huge game. PUBG, huge game. Top of the leaderboard on those games. And it's just the way his brain is wired. <laughs> He's just, uh, it, but like just your guys' personalities, like so like different. I I notice like like you're like really outgoing. You're really you're really, you know, just outgoing over the top. Turner like is just quiet. so Very he's quiet. quiet. Like even there's videos of you like running into his his room on I think his birthday or something, mm -hmm. and like throwing money at him or whatever. And he's like, dude, get the fuck out of here. Why would you give me this? I don't want this. Get out of here, dude. Like because he doesn't want. To feel like he owes anyone anything. He knows that he can be successful on his own and he doesn't need anyone's help. Like, he's always very appreciative. Like, look at that. Like, champagne party. Super stoked on that. You yeah. know, hyped. But uh, he's just such his own person. And the thing is, he is very quiet, for sure. He's compared to me, quiet. at least. Yeah, like, I'm, I don't you. know. I'm very just... He's a little more shy. And yeah, well, but the thing quieter. is, in a battle of the wits against Turner, I am He's funny unarmed. as hell. <laughs> he will, like, when it, like, if we're all sitting here roasting each other, if I say something that I think is just going to shut him down, he will shut me down. Yeah. Every single time, he is he is a very very. That's a common person. thing with brothers that grow sure. up too. They always end up on polar opposites. Mm -hmm. Like as far as personalities go, like one will always be on the far opposite side of the other. Yeah, Forrest, absolutely. do you have a brother? No, I have a sister. You have a sister. Yeah, older. Older, yeah. Okay, how older? Uh, four years. I don't know. Turner's a genius, though. She's I can never say anything bad about him. He is probably one of the most sophisticated people I've ever met in my entire life, hands down. But just like, I don't, what does Tfue even mean? It's just a four-letter username. That T F U E. What? How did he make? How did he come up with that? They just wanted a like if in the Xbox community, if you had a four-letter username, you were an OG. You know, like if you had like a short username, it was dope. And they just literally him and his friend Alex like just started like a, a randomizer of four-letter usernames that weren't taken. They were just looking through them, and Tfue popped up, and he was just like Tfue. It's pretty dope. You know, Turner's, <laughs> Turner's my name. Starts with a T. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. And uh, everyone picked it up as Turner fucks up everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, cra it's crazy how he's blown up in such a short time. Turner so fucks sick. up everyone. Hey, so I, I love that. I'll tell you dude. something crazy. I was just in Aruba and last he does. week. <laughs> he does. And um, we went to do some shit, build some dog houses and shit anyway. We stayed at this lady's house in Aruba. And her son is like 13 years old. And he knew that we uh, knew Tifu, me and Mike. And he was like the biggest Tifu fan all the way dude, in Aruba. Every he's like, oh year my fucking God. You know Tifu. You know, I'm flying all the way to Aruba and this kid's like all he wants to talk to me about is how how close does Tifu live and can he meet him and can I call him and I'm like no I had a customer but in the other crazy. day and her it's kid, all over the world yeah her kid was watching uh, his iPad and I'm like what are you watching he's watching Tifu on Twitch and I was it's like fucking wild well man. you know what's crazy too is like you know it's Juke Squad PPJT yeah. yeah that stands for Pat <laughs> Pierce which is my brother Jack and Turner uh, okay. Most people don't know that. Everybody I, I always wondered what that for meant. Pulling pranks, Jack Tenney, <laughs> which is what I went with for a while because the kid Pat, who was the uh, like, you know, the, the P in PPJT, one of the P's, he ended up being a real kind of, I don't want to say scumbag because I wish him the best, but he just made some really questionable decisions. And, a real twat. Yeah, in my personal life, and um, like what I get all the time, dude. Any time I use Turner, like or like may, put Turner in a video, like. You know, champagne party with Tifu. People are like, you're using your brother for views. Quit clout you chasing your brother. Shit. Why are you using your brother for clicks? I'm like, dog, we've been doing this shit for 11 years together, right. dude. Like, I've been pushing Turner as hard as I can Hell yeah, on dude. Twitch. Like, the amount of times I've tried to shout out his Twitch in my videos is like, I couldn't count. And now yeah. that Turner has more subscribers than me, I'm using him for Right. Me. Yep. But, is he uh, a vegetarian? Turner? No. Yeah. No, he's not. That should concern you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we're working on you I right now, for us. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta worry about you first. Oh, well, what I was turning. gonna say, we kind of veered off this topic, but like when it came to eating meat and being a vegetarian, like I was the guy that never thought I was gonna be able to stop eating burgers and salami and pepper. Like I loved that shit. Like every single day, I would eat like a salami pepperoni sandwich sub, you know, Italian, whatever. Yeah. But just slowly 
Wean slowly, yourself off, like, slowly, I would eat yeah. it, and I would just like it. Just started getting weirder and weirder to me to the point where I was like, "Why am I not eating an apple or a banana or something?" And I was just like, you know, I'd still eat it from time to time, and then it just like I was in the last time I ate meat was in Mexico three years ago, three three and a half, almost really? four, almost four years ago now. It was a street taco. Street tacos. Perfect. Yeah, street tacos are fire yeah, they there. They are fire. And I there. know that that comes from like uh, probably a local rancher because it's a small town where I was yeah. at. So I was okay with that. But it just came down to the point, you know, I watched some documentaries and I, you know, like Tyson chicken nuggets. They were in my freezer one day and I was yeah. like, what, where does this come from? And I looked it up and I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. Never again in my life will I eat meat that I don't know where it comes from. And that's like my standpoint no. on fish. Like, yeah. a fish lives a free life out in the ocean. <clears throat> it's not tortured its entire life. And go out you know, there, fucking shoot the fish, catch the <laughs> fish, and then eat it. Well, you know, they say you are what you eat. Ben's yeah. here. I'm a firm believer that, like, Ben's if, here. All right, here we If we you're can, stressed oh, or yeah, if you're depressed, rapid. like, that shit gets stored in your body. You know, like, your muscles will start to ache and you'll start to get sick if you're too stressed or if yeah. you're too upset. Yeah. And, like, if you eat the meat of an animal that's like tortured and depressed and stressed, yeah, the that's stress goes into, into that meat. body. Yeah, it's going, and that'll affect your oh, yeah. your psyche, you know. And right. That was another reason I just I was just like, it's not worth it. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't need to eat something that dies. Like, yeah. I mean, I still eat fish from time to time, like I said, but like it's only in moderation. It's only from a source <clears> where I know exactly where it's right. coming from, and I was okay with that. But I do see myself stepping away from it entirely at some Hell point. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't think anyone should try to do anything cold turkey. No. Yeah, same thing. Like for me, where I am now, like the shit I eat now is like radically different from what I ate when I was in my me early too. teens. Me too. I Fuck eat much healthier. <laughs> All Thank right, you, Ben. <laughs> let's let's so, let's let's hey, let's, so let's wrap it up. Wrap what it up, we, uh, let's wrap. What it up. do we want to say to the people, man? To wrap it up, clean up. Hang the on. Beach let's bring and, let's uh, bring Ben in for like thirty seconds. Oh, oh fuck. Just for the last thirty seconds, so Jack can fucking put him in his place. <laughs> ben, <laughs> come here. Come here. Come sit. We'll, we'll for a save second. Ben for the next one. No, no. I want him to. I want to put Ben in his place with Jack right now. <laughs> We're going to tell him what we think about the red tide and his little friend Rick Scott. Come well, here. I got to take a pee break and a cigarette friend. break Ben's before we get Ben on here. Come here. Come join. Let's for take a break before we get Ben Hold on. Hold on. No, no. I want Ben on He's here. here. I want this Ben on gonna, here real quick. Let's get be, this over with. This is going to be half an hour. Ben, don't here, stop Here, take talking. that mic. <clears throat> you know, I would shake your hand, Ben, but you said some really mean things about me in the last oh, podcast. Man. I'm not sure if I want to anymore. Ben, you were talking some shit about my friend Jack and his brother in the last podcast. No, I want to bring uh, it up. I watched the podcast, man. It was very mean. You were I being, consider myself an mean, entrepreneur, you know? You can sit. Truthful. You can sit and get close to the mic so we can hear you. I met your father. Nice guy, you know? I understand. Sit. You, know, you got to... So. Sorry, but you got to scoot closer. What? Scoot a little closer. Right. You know, you're in luck. Why? You're in luck. My son, Aaron... Happen to be a big fan of yours. My dog. <laughs> now, hey, now let the, him let's let the rest of his life. you said was wrong in the podcast. You yeah, sure? I don't even you were being a real ass to his dad. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were calling me a scumbag hippie. I didn't say scumbag. I didn't uh, use those I, words. Okay, I'm, you're right. You, you were could. calling some names. You were, you're, you know, here's I the deal. Any nasty names. You don't understand the younger generation of listen if that's the younger generation uh, I do you want me to be nice to if i cut said. if i cut my hair would you respect me more <laughs> i want i want you to be cut. nice he probably anyway, would he listen, probably would you know you can live your life any way you want i don't care do what you want. Everybody's got some nice in them, you right? Know, as long as you don't bother nobody, but you do bother people, so that's the problem. Let's but talk about... We, we anyway, talked a lot about... I thought we were going to come here and beat this guy up. I thought we were going to no. be nice. We're going to talk about... Uh, I want... Because the, his uh, son's here. Tide, he doesn't want <laughs> saving the world. Yeah, we talked a lot about the Red we're gonna, Tide. We're going to find out all the, the... Figure out all the problems of the world. And, Here's uh, the conclusion we came to. Ben, we want you to look at the camera and tell everyone to go click the link and, and sign the petition. Please. Tell everyone, all your fans out there, to sign the petition on the White House website, which is in the, in the link in the description, to... What, what does it do, Jack? Well, hey, Ben, I would like to say we don't have a lot in common, but can you agree with me we that if the, o- if the ocean dies, we all die? Yeah, right? but you can't like all you those know, dead fish in your backyard, Ben. No. The, the, what's the real deal Who's here? The real deal here? here is that a couple of dead fish... Floated on your surfboard while you were surfing, and you're upset. Okay, you wipe the blood off and you move on. How are you going to sell real estate? You can't, if this you can't whole even state get in the water. It's so bad. Land. It happens every year at the Not same this time. Not this bad. A hundred years. 
and you need the scientists to maybe be able to figure it out. I think it has something to do with, um, I don't know, must be something to do with something. Cattle ranching? Well, it definitely is something to do with something. It's been going on for 100 years, so it can't be the cruise <laughs> ships, it can't be anything we're doing now. It's been going on and documented for 100 years. Yes, naturally it has so, happened a lot of times, yeah. but we have broken every yearly record of dead wildlife when it comes to dolphins, manatees, and sea turtles in one month. More dead wildlife in one month than any previous year. And so that's this not is natural. the super red tide. Yes. Super red tide. Yes, but it's not natural. I mean, they need to get the uh, the um, scientists and all the oceanographic people out there. Is that what you call it? oceanography people? Sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And get them out there and try to figure out what's causing all this algae and the heat. It has to do with the temperature, the water, the location. Right, but they did figure it out. What is, oh, yeah, what did they do? They, they, they said it's the uh, sugar companies polluting waters well, it's, it's and all that shit. Pesticides and manure, and, and it's all the runoff. Drain into the ocean. Well, you know, like like fertilizer, like uh, phosphate, it's a huge industry. Huge industry. But it's not good to put fertilizer in clean water. Can you? Wherever they found where it originates and causes it, they should stop it. Right, but they paid your, your buddy Rick Scott, took a bunch of money, said they're allowed to dump it in the ocean. I don't know. I don't know what the case, but the point is that they determine where the source is coming from. They need to stop it. Simple so as here's that. what we want you to but do. They're but they're taking the money instead. coming right now, well, and they should clean it up. It's easy you for know? him. All he has to do is move somewhere else and sell real estate somewhere else. Ooh, you're not going to be able to sell shit in Florida in a couple of years if this keeps up. Nobody's going to want to live here. It goes on for a period of time. They need to figure out what the cause is and stop it. Look at that dead dolphins right there. Look at that fucking dolphin. Where was dead that sea at? turtles. Two it's Treasure two Island, Clearwater Beach. That's starts. in Jack's backyard right there. Yes. The whale? Yes. Yeah. Two whales. Actually. Two whales. I have footage in of one it. weekend. I'm uploading a video tomorrow about well, that. You know, uh, it hurts me more than anything because I'm, you know. You own a hotel on Clearwater Beach. Hotel on Clearwater Beach, but the point is, you know. They Move your mic so we can hear you better. Clean up the beach, but, um, you know, they need to find out what the cause is and, and definitely cure it. So me and Jack are going to fly. Well, how come it's only a tide? We need to borrow it your plane. It travels like, you know, in a tide, like, or it doesn't, it doesn't consume the whole. Um, uh, it's, it does. Uh, Panama yeah, City. It does. It's from here to Panama City now. 85% of the Florida's coast. Mm-hmm. Which has never happened before, ever in history. Well. And it's know, also never lasted this long. This is a nine-month red tide when the last, uh, the record-setting red tide last time was six months. Stop whatever the cause is. So but they're not going to stop it. It's Panama City Beach area. It's not it's coming from there. Up it's there. ending it's there. It's coming from the canals that are getting drained from start? Lake Okeechobee. Lake, o- Lake Okeechobee. Okeechobee. Lake and I too. think also mm-hmm. Lake Apopka in, in Orlando is one of the biggest is the biggest lake in Orlando. I think that's also really polluted with pesticides as well. Yeah, and that drains into Lake Okeechobee, if I'm correct. I believe so, and yeah. it happen anywhere else in the country? No, not at this not on I'm this not scale. sure. I don't nope, know about that. Absolutely either. not. Well, Any other body of water, only ours. No, red tide is definitely a naturally occurring phenomenon, and red tide is classified as an algae bloom. So to say that this is red tide technically is correct, but this is not. This is no longer a naturally occurring red tide. This is because of the pesticides and because of the manure and all the runoff from these cattle ranchers that get drained straight into the lake. And if you know the historical flow of water... Lake Okeechobee used to drain into the Everglades. You know why the Everglades are the way they are? Because all the water in Florida drains south. They completely cut off Lake Okeechobee from draining south, and they send the water straight east and west, which then hits the ocean, which causes this supercharged red tide algae bloom, and it fucking kills everything. That's all. That's it. Red tide is the algae bloom, and the algae bloom, the the. But it's not a natural algae bloom right, anymore. Right. Red so, tide has not naturally occurred on its own since 1920. Why Facts. are we picking up a bunch of music in the background? From? Sounds like it's coming uh, from over there. You're the sound man. You're asking us. <laughs> the so sound the man's asking us for the sound man. Where'd you over find there? this guy? I, don't know what Radio Shack I fucking fun. found him on Craigslist. I'm sorry. You know, Radio send him back to Radio Shack. They're not in business anymore. They bro. closed down. Ben What's Bieri. that computer running over there? Is it the, the Mac? No, that's something back there, man. Y'all no, it's coming from over there. Forrest, we're picking up all your audio. Well, well, that's a, that's a good That's a good wrap up. I think that was a good podcast. All right, we'll sign so the what are they finding when they when they and, when uh, they um when they when we gotta they, take a break when they take these dead uh, animals that they're finding uh, and they're, you know finding the bacteria in them 
can they trace the bear? Well, by the by that, I think from? by that time it's too late, Ben. By the time they find the dead animals, it's, all you can do is just they're already dead. They're already dead. I know that, but you can still do like uh, testing on their tissue and, and yeah, and then whatever disease is inside of them and and try to determine what the source was. Maybe I don't know. That will they? I mean, they do determine it. Yeah, it all comes class. from Lake Okeechobee. Yeah, the algae right blooms in the lake have been getting worse and worse every all year. All right, so let's fill in Lake Okeechobee. Ben, we're going to borrow your plane, and we're going to fly down to Lake Okeechobee. We're going to go talk gonna, to these people. And then me and Jack are going to fly up to uh, to the Panhandle, and we're going to meet up with Rick Scott. And then... Uh, we're what a podcast, Can you get man. us an interview with Rick? No. Hell no. He, he hates <clears throat> me, dude. <laughs> Can you get us an interview with anybody? Only yourself. <laughs> Did you know that uh, Rick Scott <laughs> cut $700 million of budgets from the Water Preservation Act? Nope. Yeah, well, there's another problem. I'm not informed. No. Yeah. Why? Well, thank you guys for having me. It's been great. Right, sign Jack. the petition in the description. Please sign the petition. Sign this fucking petition because we Wait, got... There you go. Natural water flow and the unnatural water flow. Look, this kid might know what Why he's talking you about, Ben. go to the source of where the pollutant is being... That you believe the pollutant's coming from. We have. You know, Look, there Lake they are. It's right here. Lake the Okeechobee. news is telling you. Yeah, but Except for the news, will never source? tell you. Where's the source? The Lake the Okeechobee. Ranchers, How's it getting into that Lake Okeechobee? Cattle ranches and all those, and those cattle ranches. companies. Listen, um, and the all these where is it entering into Lake Okeechobee? The exact spot there, polluting the water. Right? I will tell you right now. Uh, look, sugar, big sugar farms, right there. Right. Those they look are good. How come they don't pollute it? Look, they're all they built pollute all their on shit in the water. Land. They're built on swamp land. That it's has just been like drained. your lawn looks good, but it, the reason is because of all the fertilizer. Yeah, exactly. And it's draining down the sewer. In order to keep <clears throat> those crops growing and not flooding, they have to drain all the excess water that falls on top, which then goes straight into Lake Okeechobee. So all the fertilizer and all the pesticides that are on those crops get washed into the lake, which creates these toxic algae blooms. And instead of sending itself in, into the river of grass, where it would then be cleaned before it got to the ocean, they send it straight Look, into the St. Lucie beach. River, straight into the ocean, and it kills fucking everything. That's it. Sign the petition today. Jack, thanks for coming on the Duke podcast. Squad, Jack Tenney, thanks for having me. You won. All right, broski.